These are the sounds that Yahweh's will make. Okay, let's uh let's open with contrapture. Let's open with contrapture. I see snakes, I see cathedrals or churches. Uh cathedral appears to be the first word. This this is the same person as an actual photograph and as a uh, uh, cartoon. In this one, like, he's obviously supposed to be some kind of conservationist, but in this one he's beheaded the snake, so that's not very conservationist-y. More snakes in cathedrals. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this thing? What is this thing? <laughs> Hello, Speclad, welcome. Really examining that snake. I'm feeling more and more like definitely cathedral, not church. It's actually the cathedral that's, uh... There was a DST change recently, Speclad. Last Sunday. I was right about Cathedral. Snake is obviously there. I'm gonna need to... Uh, I, I'll bet this is Officer. Because then he could be like a... Uh, animal Control Officer. Curious. The snake has been replaced with... Dogs. And this half-dog, half-lion creature. <laughs> Uh, somebody wants to be banned. Somebody needs to be banned. Snake decapitation officer. Exactly, exactly. I'd better, 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 better. I better get rid of snake. It's it's controlling everything else. So I think more than just snow, there's got to be mountain. There's got to be disaster. There's got to be dog. I don't know why the dog was so completely over. <laughs> what? Okay, maybe there isn't dog. Maybe it's mammal. <laughs> maybe there's just mammal. <laughs> It's just, this is every mammal. This is all of them. This is every mammal is one thing. <laughs> let's, let's actually try mountain first. Uh, mountain is close. Peak. Uh, summit. That's closer to a different word. I'm going to try mammal. Slope. Interesting thought, uh, Speclad. Hey, great. Fantastic. Uh, disaster has to be in here. Yeah. It has to be dog, right? I don't know why when it tried to draw do dry, tried to draw a dog, it was like, I don't know what a dog is. I mean, this is... <laughs> it's like, crime scene... Uh, like an architect who needs to be shot <laughs> and just depression. Is this just room? Is it just room? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Is it just animal? Okay. <laughs> Having animal and snake in there is, is uh, interesting. <laughs> Therapy suggests Veclad. This is some good therapy right here. I need a hint. It was therapy. What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, 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 okay, I'm see from this, therapy animal is dog. I want to see a therapy snake. It's snakes in therapy! <laughs> 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 
the it's two therapists that are either a gay couple and they're a gay couple period <laughs> and their their therapy for this snake involves the disembodied head of a different snake and that seems unlikely to be helpful but okay <laughs> Therapy cathedral. Snake cathedral. Just snakes in a cathedral. Hello, Joshua. Animal cathedral. I mean, all cathedrals are animal cathedrals. Humans are animals. Slope cathedral. Eh. Slope animal. Oh, the slope animal disaster did not make it funnier. Slope snake, who cares? Now that's adorable. <laughs> I mean, this, this is just the best. <laughs> it's having a great time. <laughs> A, it's just every mammal. It's just all of them. This is, this, this is what mammal is this? Yes. <laughs> and B, he's having such a great time on his skis. <laughs> what a happy guy. Oh god. This uh this squirrel has that uh uh brain parasite that ants get. Uh, fungus. <laughs> he's uh, he's having a real bad time. Slope disaster. Okay. What about therapy slope? Suggest back lad. Why do I have three legs? That was a pretty fun one. That was, uh, not too bad, but, uh, definitely needed, uh, Speclad's help for this being therapy. For this being therapy! <laughs> oh, dear. Next up, let's, uh, go ahead and switcheroo. And... I want the wind wheel. Go ahead and do the wind wheel before the stream, so I'll actually have things ready by stream time. Now, this is the first time using my new method that uh, something has actually gotten a strict majority. <laughs> And you might might think, like, if it has a strict majority, I should just go with it. But watch me not. Watch me get tacky on. <laughs> I mean, it was it was the strict majority. It was the most likely, like, no, let's not act, you know, there's no surprise here. Of course, that was the one that was selected. So, uh, let's go ahead and load up EverQuest 2 for Pocket PC. Joshua expected something else. Da, 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 da. Bootin, bootin, bootin. Bootin, bootin, bootin. Bhutan, Bhutan, Bhutan. Do, 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 do. Uh, 
It's rigged by statistics. Let's go ahead and uh, set up the display. I guess I may as well uh, announce the stream while I set up. Uh, you know what, actually, before I start adjusting the size of the recording window, I should figure out, uh, what it's going to actually look like. Where did you download this from, asked Joshua, the, uh, the, the directory of Speckland. <laughs> And the but uh, uh, you know, for the time, well, okay, let's do it a little bit bigger. So, but, uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That'll do. Just want to get the actual game screen as big as possible. <laughs> yep, this is an emulator in an emulator. It does kind of run on wine, but not really. Uh, and it definitely, like, on modern Windows, uh, uh, mm, eh, mm, not so much. <laughs> yes. Giant mouse cursor. It's to represent as if it's like a finger. Okay, and whilst I am at it, let's go ahead and uh, actually remember to configure all the uh, the stream stuff, reset the titles and such. So the title is now EverQuest 2 for Pocket PC. What are the odds that this game is going to be in any of the streaming services? Can you say exactly zero? There is no possibility whatsoever? <laughs> the screen swallowed the wind. Did it? Did I actually overlap? No, that should be that should be layered correctly, right? Uh. No, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, don't don't lie to me. <laughs> uh, da -da 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 -da. Update kick to the correct game. Let's see. EverQuest. Oh, look at that! EverQuest Two. Okay. <laughs> it's not not EverQuest Two. <laughs> The game I'm playing is EverQuest 2. You can't say it's not. That's what it is. Uh, let's see if Twitch has it. EverQuest 2. Unsurprisingly, no EverQuest 2 for Pocket PC that I can see. Uh, and yes, I, I think Van Witt, no, Joshua said to Speckled, you should really upload that to archive.org, because wherever you found it is gone, and that might be the only copy in existence. <laughs> I mean, I can upload it too, but, uh, you know, I just got it from you, so... Attack on Carlos. 
I'll bet, actually, so I, I was searching for it for by the name EverQuest 2 for Pocket PC, but it can't quite decide whether it's EverQuest 2 or not. Like, look, the icon says EverQuest 2, or it says EQ2 in, like, four whole colors. Just so many colors. But then the name here is just EverQuest Attack on Kremlis. Uh, uh, so it's, yeah, it, it could be that it's actually quite findable. You just have to know what the name is. <laughs> I have music playing in the background. Let me turn that off. Now, as you can see from that title screen there, uh, magic is still stored in the boobs. <laughs> Good, perfect. And I just want to briefly mention, because... In my original EverQuest for Pocket PC, where I named my character Boobs, which is actually what's written there, but boy howdy, the handwriting. <laughs> uh, so, I got a couple of comments about all the things I was saying about the magic store and the boobs and, and that kind of thing, and... <clears throat> Mocking misogyny is not misogyny, idiots! <laughs> The game making the only female character have balloon boobs that are barely stored in by a knot top. That's the misogyny. Me mocking the misogyny? That's not misogyny, that's mockery, you fucking morons. Okay, anyway, uh, let's uh, go ahead and import our level 14 magic user. Welcome to EverQuest for the Pocket PC! No need to say that it's episode 2 here. This tutorial will help you get to know the game. Tap to continue. To move, tap the screen where you want your character to move. You may hold the stylus down and your character will continue to move towards it. Button 1... Uh... Probably this one? Yes. <laughs> Maybe this one? Just <laughs> want some button. So would that make this a breast expansion? <laughs> Ask Joshua and Chad. No, nah, because she looks identical. It's even the same like art. I'm slightly like, is it gonna be a ball? I don't know which button that's gonna refer to. <laughs> button two will invoke the options window where you can set the volume, see the credits, or exit to character selection. Button, what? <laughs> what button is that gonna be? Okay, button three will bring up a context-based tutorial. On the bottom left-hand side of the main screen are four buttons. These buttons are spell gems, which you can then customize to cast spells or use items, such as health potions. See the persona window for more information. The persona button will invoke one of the four persona windows, inventory, spell book, quest log, and map. The nearest target button always selects the nearest target to you. The cycle target button cycles through visible targets, beginning with the closest target. The health, red, and mana, blue, bars show your character's health and mana levels. If you have created a new character for episode 2, make sure you upgrade your spells in the spell book. Okay, keep showing tutorials, though. Oh, God. <laughs> uh... Okay, you have invoked the Persona Windows. There are four Persona Windows. The inventory window, the spell book, the quest log, and the map. You may select any of these windows by using the four buttons at the bottom of the screen. The game is possible. You are using any of the Persona Windows. You take your time. Your experience and levels are let in the top of the portion of the scramble. The next six. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, I don't think I actually opened the inventory window, but whatever. I, you know what, I'm sure I can figure out an inventory window, whatever. <laughs> uh, yes, okay. This is all gonna be the inventory that I had from last game, presumably. Greater Ring of the Dog! Why do you use a high pitch voice for tutorials? <laughs> they think, don't think it's funny. It sounds like, It does not actively hurt. God, but none of the voices that the only voice that I ever use that actually hurts to use at all. 
is the uh, this voice right here. And this voice gets really painful after a little bit. But this voice is nothing. It's it's I could I could talk like this indefinitely. Uh how do I get out I guess that okay. It's yeah, exactly, Van Whitman. This the the voice you're hearing now, this is my best attempt to uh uh mask the fact that this is my real voice. When your character approaches an NPC who wants to talk, a talk button will appear. Click on the talk button will let your character talk to the NPC. That this is... Oh, I see. It's some kind of... Okay, I was like, this. it's some kind of monster spider thing. But then when he moved, it's like a wolf in stockades. You see a knoll chained to the stocks before you. I'm Fippy Dark Pox. <laughs> that is just somebody's persona. You have ruined your lands. You will not ruin mine for too long. We gnolls have watched this city defile the countryside. Even as I speak, the major clans of the gnolls are uniting to move against this horrid place. The Blackborough Dark Pods Lipblock clans are vitally united in our struggle to rid this area of human consolation. That was this Okay, the gnolls are... Uh, attacking. <laughs> Wonder if it automatically levels up all the enemies to match yours if they're all level 1. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, interesting, <laughs> Joshua, if they don't level up. As you move... <clears throat> wait, wait, wait. The tutorial voice is this voice, but I was using this voice for the, uh, normal narrator. As you move closer, he laughs and continues speaking. You may have captured me, but I... It should bring... <laughs> I'm slowly turning into Goofy. But it should bring you no comfort. If I had been more patient, you would have destroyed yourselves from within. There are traitors among you even now that would sell their mothers to... My voice just keeps changing <laughs> to us if the amount of gold was right. The citizens and guards of this city have no honor. I do not believe your kind is capable of understanding the concept. With a snort of disgust, he finishes his conversation with its accusation. If guard Liam has been at his post as I believed he would, I would be free now. Ah, so you've already, you just like told us that you paid off Liam. Thanks. Uh, let me, let me try some of these. Okay, so that's button one. That's button two. Volume to the max. That's... Uh, did... What? What? Bleh! I did not do that! Uh, don't worry, they're also misogynists. <laughs> Apparently I saved here. What did I do that... I'm just, I, I want to figure out what I did to make sure I don't do it again. Wow! Wow, brilliant! Okay, so the second uh, button, if you press it, you go to options, but if you press it again, you would think it would do return to game, but no, it quits. <laughs> Great design. Button three, that's the tutorial button. Great, thank you. Shut your face. Button four is nothing. Okay. You tell Captain... Wait, wait, what was I You tell Captain Tranmall of Fippy's accusation against Guard Liam. Liam did not report to his post today and is missing from the guard barracks. It is rumored that he has escaped into the catacombs out of the city. I doubt that he is still there, but it's worth looking... I need better glasses. I can barely read this. <laughs> looking into... You are welcome to assist us in the search. Here is a pass to enter the catacombs. There are several entrances that you may use, but I recommend that you use the entrance near the main gate. It is easier to maintain your bearings if you start there. Uh, which presumably is this one right here. Am I, am I looking at it? No, no, that, that's nothing. That, that would be nothing. Okay, cool, thank you. <laughs>
When you approach a sign, oh, no wait, this is the tutorial. When you approach a sign or other interesting item, a look button will appear. Clicking the look button will let you examine the object. Sometimes you'll find chests or other items to go up the option. I I got fifty gold, I guess. Well that just exploded. For no reason. <laughs> it exploded, but there was stuff in it. You have acquired a target. A target icon appears at the bottom of the world view. Tap to continue. Tapping this icon will display information about the target. Your target's health bar is displayed to the right of the target icon. Tap to continue. To the right of the target health bar is the target consider icon. The color of this icon represents the target's relative strength to you. Okay, so it's going to give me the relative strength. Green represents an easy target. White represents an even target. Yellow is hard. Red is very hard. Uh, so that, that's green. The battling seems largely, uh, automated. Looks like a reasonably safe opponent. I mean, it took me down by a quarter already. Okay, that's all he's moved. Got it. Why was there a s- oops, well, whatever that said, I didn't get to see it. Why was there a skeleton in there? Why was there a skeleton in there? Uh... Oh yeah, the Dark Heart Staff. That seems important. Uh... <clears throat> Just, like, where's the rest of my inventory? Uh... Where is the rest of my inventory? Oh, here we go. Z Spectre Amulet, all this crap I got for the previous game, I don't remember any of it at all. Broadsword. I guess red means I can't use it. I probably don't want to use it anyway. I am theoretically a magic user. <laughs> Can I explicitly save somehow? I'm gonna click options and then very carefully not click options again. Now that doesn't seem to let me save. <clears throat> Can I, can I live? Can I have my health back? <laughs> it's, it'll be fine. I'll, I'll, I'll be great, I'm sure. Uh, do I have like a healing potion? Or if you expect me to remember anything from the previous game, then you don't know who you're watching here. Uh, why can't I scroll left? It's so difficult. Let me, let me scroll left, please. There we go. Is this a healing potion? Mana potion, that makes sense. That looks like a healing potion, but I only have the one, so I guess we're just gonna live with it. Why do I explode the barrels? Why don't I just look in them? Uh... Let's see... Magic. Oh, I can- I can summon an air elemental. Okay, okay, okay. I, it, boy, howdy. It's gonna take me a while to remember what the hell is going on. Uh... Interesting. I can upgrade Earth Elemental now. Was that a good idea? I don't know. Let me, let me let me kill this giant fire beetle before it kills me. It shows as green. I'm not confident, to be honest. It's doing much better against me than I am against it. Hey, guard, could you, like, participate at all? This totally fine with you? The, okay, great. Good guarding. Glad you're here. Glad you're here being a guard. I'm just gonna get killed right here. It'll be totally cool. Uh, how do I put one of these? Can I drag? Is that how? Ah, there we go. You deal with it. Deal with it better. Thank you. I vaguely remember the elementals. I vaguely remember the elementals. Uh... 
My health is going back up on its own, very slowly. So, I guess now that I'm not in battle... <laughs> my health just goes right back up again! Thank you, Earth Elemental, you did it! Checking to make sure that uh, the stream is streaming, everything's working, yes, okay. I remember the Elementals, they have a different number of animation frames from all other enemies in Spec Lab, but they're not enemies, they're friends. Now. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's, uh... Get my other elementals. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be an elemental only person. <laughs> Fire, water, earth, and air. Well, we killed the spider. Marginally. <laughs> Hello there. The Ubja. Ooh, 420. I can blaze me some uh, health potions. Yes, do? Okay. Half flask of help. For exactly double a quarter flask of help with health, uh, which is actually a pretty good deal. Elemental only any percent for the pocket PC, says Joshua. The herb jar sells potions for 420. Come on, says Becklad. I feel like this is before that meaning of 420 was really known. Quarter large jar. Bleh. <laughs> so they just sell everything. They just sell th th all of it. Uh... I'm gonna buy a couple half flasks and then save the rest of my money. Note that I should put that in my quick bar, but I'm not going to. Anybody mind that I have an elemental in town? No? Okay. <laughs> can, I, can I look at this banner? No? Great. So, the last uh, EverQuest for Pocket PC, I did not play on emulator because finding emulators for Pocket PC is harder than it should be. So, this is the catacombs he wanted me to go to. I'm not going to go there just yet. You have surprisingly little money for a hero of EverQuest, says Mechlad in chat. I mean, uh, sure. <laughs> I'm assuming all the money I have I brought from the last game. But I don't. The grounds of fate. What the the Kranos Warrior Guild. If you think I'm ever gonna pronounce it differently than Kranos, then uh <laughs> I've got bad news for you. Oh, you're also a, a shopkeep. Okay, expensive stuff. Expensive weaponry. <laughs> Heinous aspect, lad? No, it's Heinous. <laughs> Just gonna explore this town I found myself in before, uh, before going into the catacombs. Uh, hello. You see a young lady weeping. As you approach, she wipes her eyes and begins to speak. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Could you help me out? My husband Bob and I got into a bit of an argument. 
What it was about is rather personal. But he got so angry, he left and vowed never to come back. I can't run the barn here all by myself. And I don't have a pass to take the boat to Ood's Crossing where he went. Do you think you could take a note to him for me? She hands you a sealed note that is wet with tears. It's now illegible because all the ink has run. Thank you so much. I will give you a lovely reward when I hear a word that he will return. But what if I... What if I, uh, bring the note to him and he says he won't return? Then will you... Do I still get a reward? <laughs> Seems a bit unfair. It's not my fault. Bloody Bill's fine meats! Your husband's name is Bob. The, I guess this maybe isn't your place? I mean, you said you can't run the barn. This kind of looks like a barn right here, the sign. Okay, whatever. Your name is Bill, your name is Bob, whatever. You'll have to be the replacement husband. So it's like, well, yeah, if the husband won't come back, I mean, there's nobody else for the job. Good. Perfect. That was not at all weird how I walked through that barrel. I am actually going to need to figure out uh, how to get the screen zoomed a little bit more next time. <laughs> I doubt that this is going to be a, a one stream game and uh, it is just a little bitty screen and I, my eyes are not what they used to be. <laughs> uh, okay, that, that appears to be it. Why is there a random flag on the wall outside? There's like the, there's these flags everywhere, and I thought I could uh, examine them, but I can't. Well, not this flag. The mermaids, lure. but like all the walls have those little flags. Oh, I'm Scotty Bluefin. I own this bar, which is why I stand outside and not inside doing anything. Can can I can I enter? Or no. Can I? Can I? No? Okay. <laughs> well, I can't say I didn't try. <laughs> uh, this, I think, is more or less where I... No, this is not where I started. Yeah, who the hell are you? Okay, so this is the armory. Again, can't afford anything. I mean, I guess I could technically afford something. Oh man, I'm gonna get so lost in this town, I find this a very, very difficult thing to navigate. Private dock, no trespassing, watch me! Ain't no sign gonna tell me what to do! Well, that was nothing. <laughs> Is this the best place to have the stockades? <laughs> like... Right? I mean, I know it's supposed to be a very public humiliation, but, uh... Like, if if somebody's gonna try to, to bust him out, he's sort of right in convenient busting out position. Next stream, I'll have maps for this game since backlighted chat. <laughs> That's cheating! Oh dear. I'm on I'm on so much fire. There's a lot of fire and I am so on fire right now. I am having a bad time. I'm dead. I am deceased already. This is the end of my life. <laughs> well, that uh that was a pretty good a pretty successful run there. Uh <laughs> That, uh, that seems to have worked out. Can I, can I stop being poisoned maybe before I die? It'd be super cool to not be poisoned and then live. Mmm. Doesn't seem like that's gonna happen, though. Hello, I went into the catacombs and I'm yellow now. <laughs> is that, uh, is that gonna cause any consternation? I didn't even realize that the background is actually here behind the uh, menu. 
A traitor in our midst. Oh. Well, there's the map. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. It, it only took me 20 minutes. It's fine. That's, that's, that's normal. Uh, just trying to think what I can do to not die right now. Went to the catacombs that I'm yellow now. The, the sewers, you numbskulls. <laughs> it's my cloud chat. Regeneration. That sounds pretty fun. I don't understand why this isn't doing anything. <laughs> Resist elements. Major shielding. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and put regeneration here. And then use it immediately. Okay, that also healed the thingy thing. So that seems pretty lucky. So because you have zero upgrade points, says Speclad. So I am at a level to upgrade, but there's some kind of upgrade point somewhere that I don't have. <laughs> Okay, regeneration doesn't last a spectacularly long time, but it's not too bad. Uh, let's go ahead, let's try to be a little bit more thoughtful about my menu here. So, let's have regeneration, health potion, mana potion, and what's the, what's the most versatile of these things? Uh, I, I think earth elemental, I'm gonna go with earth elemental. Look where it says plus zero, those are upgrade points. Oh. 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 I mean, that's just because obviously I, I imported the character uh, as upgraded as upgradable, so okay, so I need a level and I need upgrade points, understood. Power magic, uh, increases max hit points, increases armor class. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it another go and immediately get the shit beaten out of me. Actually, let's not do that. Let's, uh, I think, was it somewhere where I had to stand for these to regenerate on their own, or do I just stand for a bit and these regenerate on their own? Like, they regenerate slowly no matter what, but there was some point where it just suddenly went, and, and there we go. Okay, so if I just stand for a bit, then, then they will, uh, recharge fully. But I definitely did have to stand because uh, when I was just uh, when I was walking around there, they were not recharging fully. Zoop, 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 zoop. Zoop the lore. Why, why aren't you attacking? Attack something, thank you. So my uh, Earth Elemental is as good as dead, but you know, that's, that's why he's a pet. And then I just make another one. And then I recover, but nothing like fast enough. Hey, Earth Elemental, you want to participate, or...? I guess he is participating, he just sucks. This seems fine. I can foresee no way that I'm gonna lose here. I mean, I'm not gonna lose, but, like, that was two enemies! <laughs> the Return of the Skeleton Lab says Speckled. <laughs> and now I'm green! Last time I was yellow, now I'm green. Uh... Poison. Uh... 60 total seconds. At least it does go away after a while.
So I guess then we just stand around for 60 total seconds and then a little bit longer to wait for this to recharge on its own and then we do another battle and barely live. <laughs> is that how this game is gonna go? <laughs> I mean, if I had not imported from the previous game, would this have just been completely impossible? I mean, I guess, you know, our quest is to go to the catacombs, but I could just wander around outside to do some grinding or something. Has it not been 60 total seconds le yet? There we go. The icon for the elemental health bar, a guy with cauliflower hair. I mean, that's why I chose the earth elemental. <laughs> That's just the icon for the Earth Elemental more generally. Uh, let me actually check... Oh yeah, I've got just the tiniest amount of experience. <laughs> like a truly insultingly small amount of experience for that. I'm on fire again. Flesh Eater. Not today. This is going to be my strategy, just like, uh, stick regeneration on at an appropriate time, keep sort of punching away, try to live, and then stand around and, uh, wait to, uh, wait to regenerate, <laughs> which unfortunately takes a long time when you have, uh, the, the, the 60 seconds of rabies before you can do anything. You know, sometimes you just have to recover from rabies and then you can go on the offensive. It, it happens. Unfortunately, I feel like as annoying as the strategy I'm employing now is, it is the correct... <laughs> Strategy. Spaglet says, I hate it when you catch rabies and have to wait 60 seconds. Oh wow, there are three EverQuest games for Rocket PC, says Joshua. Yeah, I, I already had the third, and I have the first uh, on disc. Like, I have the, the four realsies first. Uh, but uh, the second was very, very uh, uh, elusive. Don't forget the expansion for the first game, says Speclad. Well, consider it forgotten. Yeah, the skeleton grunt is truly not a problem. Sure you don't have, like, a fireball spell, says Becklad in chat? I definitely do, but, like, my mana was going down real fast when I was actually using it. I have freeze, which is, you know, bound to be similar. Wonder if, uh, like, is this the only spells I know? Because that's just the spells I know, or can I, can I swap them out or something? Doesn't seem like that. Wow, I've not seen this puzzle in all since this Pongy and Jet. I mean, I I can try freeze. I'm unopposed to trying freeze. Uh, I'm opposed to trying freeze. Maybe that's because I don't have an enemy that it's red d d d d d out. Let me give myself a second to heal this last little bit here. I mean, it's so lame to just stand around and wait for healing, but not really a better alternative. I wish I could send the uh, elemental out ahead so that he would take the bulk of the uh, attack. 
Ah, freeze is like a status ailment. So it's actually even better than I assumed it was going to be. Wow, freeze is great. Okay. <laughs> I just assumed it was going to be like a just a smack attack, but no, no, it is it is a status ailment that is much better. Though it does take quite some mana. Though it does do quite some damage, so you know, <laughs> gonna take it. Let me just sit here and be green for a bit. Love to be green. Should I? Can I? Would I? Uh, not capture the cursor. Better or worse without the cursor? I guess without the cursor, you don't know where I'm clicking. And knowing where I'm clicking does actually matter. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and capture the cursor. I mean, when I was playing on the real thing, it captured the stylus insofar as the stylus was a physical object between the camera and the screen. <laughs> so, following in that tradition, it's fine. <laughs> Got the big pointer like me, says Fongy. My pointer size has been just all over the place recently. I don't know what keeps on affecting it, but something about, like, I'm running at scale two, but then this emulator gets confused because it's like it's also scaled and like I, I do not have any intention to have a pointer this gigantic, but something between like I'm running a 2160p monitor and but then the game does or the, the emulator does its own scaling. It's just like <laughs> something has decided the cursor needs to be gigantic, but that something is not me. <laughs> Hello. Uh, can you target it, please? Man, Freeze is actually really good. Freeze is really, really good. I'm somewhat stunned by how good Freeze is. It's good enough that I'm just gonna keep right on, uh, marching. Keep following that left wall! Okay, I did think I had gone in a circle there. I'm gonna not follow the left wall to not go in a circle. Guess you could say freeze is very cool, says Spongy in chat. Ayo! Does he just stay poisoned forever? Do I have to stand around for him to stop being poisoned? Maybe I did. Can you, can you do the spell, please? Can you do the spell, please? Apparently not. I don't know why, but... There we go. Like, too close or something? Let's just sit here and be green for a bit. It's not easy being green. What's the description of Freeze? Asks Becklad in chat. Uh... Uh... But, uh... Cold damage, 12 to 15, repeats every 2 seconds for 10 total seconds. So, 5 rounds of damage, and a pretty good amount of damage. And it's essentially independent of whatever amount of damage I'm doing and whatever amount of damage the elemental is doing, so... In fact... I'm going to go ahead and get my elemental friend into that slot so that I've got it all ready! Got an emergency potion if I need it, but I have regen, I have an elemental, and I have freeze! 
Best spell in the game, apparently. Just gonna sit here and be green for a bit, though. I'm just gonna help. I'm done being green. Can you have a second elemental? Ask Specklad. I would bet no, but let's find out. Uh, well, let's attempt this. It's obviously not gonna work. Yeah, fine. Uh, and then when that obviously doesn't work, let's see if I can have a different elemental. Nah, just replaces it. Uh, Earth Elemental 3, Fire Elemental 4, so that was probably a good idea. I was using the worst one. <laughs> I was using the only one that I have level uh, 3 instead of level 4. <laughs> You can't because it would be molecular, says spec that in chat. Yeah, that's why they call at call them atomals, not elementals, but atomals. This game is I wish it well <laughs> The one piece of music it had was actually quite good, so I kind of wish it had more, but I also kind of don't. Yes. <laughs> Selmental is like, who's ready for a warm hug? <laughs> That's spec that in chat. The, the look of the elementals in this game is just a little bit weird. Why didn't you give your character sprite such oversized tits? Because magic is stored in the boobs, Gotvin. We've already established this. <laughs> we established this in EverQuest 1. Magic is stored in the boobs. <laughs> and then I got a bunch of idiots making comments on my videos about, like, geez, so immature, magic is stored in the boobs, talking about her tits, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I'm mocking the misogyny, idiots. <laughs> Well, this is an exciting part of the map right here. Hope you're as excited by this uh, map completion as I am. Woo! Do it. Do it. Do the spell. Do the spell! I, I don't understand what's happening. Map completion is the best part of you always will play through suspect that in chat. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it, because I seem to be obsessed with it in a way that makes no sense. And by the way, Gotvin, if you think the uh, sprite here has oversized tits, you should see the uh, the intro screen. Go back in the video. <laughs> Maybe it's on cooldown, says uh, Spongy in chat. I mean, it, it had been a long time since I'd used it. Maybe I'm too near to the fire elemental and I'm trying to use freeze. Uh, Take that, you jerk! <laughs> Toho Artificial Dream in Arcadia at least has rewards for math completion of the dungeon does this game, <laughs> as Confin. <laughs> Definitely not! <laughs> Zero percent chance! <laughs> Uh, yep, that was nothing, all right. Whoa, where'd you come from? And now I'm going to sit here and be green for a minute. Because it's not easy being green. What shall we discuss every time I have to sit here and be green for a minute? <laughs> I 
Shall we discuss the fact that I have, of course, left my uh, Windows XP emulator background as the classic Windows XP desktop? You should examine your inventory, says Specklad in chat. I have picked up a bunch of random crap. I would do that now. Like, it would be a great time to do that while this is happening, but it says the game pauses when you go into that screen, so that doesn't actually give me time to, like, it's, uh... Uh... If if this was an MMO and the game didn't pause when you were in the inventory, that would be the perfect time to go trawling through your inventory, but the game told us that's not going to happen. <laughs> so much random crap from the previous game. What are these? Full vial of health, holy crap. Cure poison, okay, so it has given me some poison cures, but only two, and it's not really necessary. Broadsword. So what can I... Right. The red does mean you can't. Fine. Whatever. Well, Joshua, that is not necessarily what that means. That was my immediate thought, too. But there are full flasks that do not do full healing. It's just that's how they name each sort of level of thing. Uh, but I don't know where Vile sits in the uh, levels of Potion, so... Well, gonna sit here and be green for a bit. I guess I know that regen... Whoops, okay, well... I was gonna say I know that regen makes me not green, but I don't actually know that anyway. Somehow this great Rattler found me! Rattling so much. Okay, now uh, my elemental and I are both going to sit here and be green for a bit. You know, if I want to know how much it does, what I should do is nothing. It won't tell me. Uh, okay, so half flask of health does plus 100. So that's flask is out of 200. And full vial does plus 40. See, a vial is actually, like, in spite of, <laughs> in spite of this being full, that is not a full heal. That's actually crap. Now you have a broccoli and cheese from World of Warcraft NES, says Mechlad in chat. What an excellent point. <laughs> I am almost positive that you can make green fire, Gauntvin, like, uh, if you burn something with chrome impurities, something like that. <laughs> Like, well, I mean, people who make fireworks obviously know how to do it. Hello, new friend. Ow. <laughs> I think my uh, elemental is not long for this world. This seems not at all rickety and like a rickety bridge over sewage. I foresee no problem with crossing that. I think maybe I can be interrupted in spell casting or something like that because I'm hearing this sound that sounds like something failed. So maybe, maybe that's what's happening. Like, when I'm getting hit while trying to cast the spell, it, it doesn't cast or something. Well, my elemental is essentially dead now. <laughs> oh, look at that! His poison went away fast enough. He's technically alive. Now I get to sit here and recover from being green. Recover from being green. It sure is a 60 second status ailment, isn't it? They sure had to make that status ailment last 60 seconds. Then you have to wait for that status ailment to fully go away and stand for a bit, like another 30 seconds or something, in order to uh, start your, your fast healing. So there's like a 90 second wait every time you're uh, particularly hurt.
More huge spiders! You have no pants? asks Becklad. Uh, I mean, if any character doesn't need pants, this character doesn't need pants. I do appear to have no pants. This scroll bar is very bad. <laughs> this is one of the bad scroll bars. Raw silk leggings. Oh wait, no, these are pants. This must be underwear or something. I don't know what this is. <laughs> These are pads. This is belt. This will be belt. This will be belt. This looks like a bandana, yeah. So I, I have no belt. My pants are fallen down. It's fine. I need to quickly recover from being green. Just recovering from being green. It's not easy being greasy, so spec that in chat. It's not easy being green. I mean, I know that I can cure poison. I just want to establish that I am aware of the fact that there is a cure poison vial. But I have no actual source of them, uh, and it would be better to use them if I'm in, like, a bigger battle where I actually need them, rather than while I'm just standing around waiting for my next battle. And... Too impatient. <laughs> I'll probably be fine. I've basically been fine since I figured out how to play this game. That was another poison cure. Just gonna stand here. Oh, I'm double poisoned. Cool. Okay. Great. You can, you can be poison poisoned, or maybe one of the, maybe I'm rabid and poisoned. No, I'm double poisoned. Cool. Cool. <laughs> Did not anticipate that you could be double poisoned. <laughs> Kinda dumb. The poison like the poison for oblivion for the phone, asks Bongi in chat. Boy, howdy, do I not remember that. <laughs> By the way, do you like how uh, EverQuest 2 for Pocket PC is here on the desktop right next to the uh, game running? <laughs> Definitely gonna wait for a full heal here. And the Windows background. The Windows background is very important, Spongy. I definitely, definitely would not have updated the Windows XP background. Put a patch analyzing document on your desktop, like credit card details.txt, says Speckled in chat. I need uh, SSN and SIN.txt. You know, in, uh, in Canada, the equivalent of the social security number is the social insurance number, uh, and nobody just calls it SIN. It's so anno- everybody calls it the SIN, and it's like, just call it your SIN. That's so much better. That's just extremely cool. <laughs> no, it's the SIN. We wouldn't want to call it a SIN. Uh, okay, I found another ladder. Let's, let's not lad. You know, it's a ladder, so the thing you do with it is lad. <laughs> let's not lad right now. Okay, ow. Stop eating my flesh, flesh eater. That's rude. I'm, I'm pretty on fire right now. Oh, I'm, I'm no longer on fire. It's fine. Uh, 
Okay, that went pretty much flawlessly. More rabies. <laughs> They should run it, run a public info campaign about it with the Pet Shop Boys. It's a sin as the theme, says <laughs> that in chat. What on earth is this? <laughs> Ask Gary Hutman in chat. It's EverQuest 2. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, oh, you're on YouTube. Uh, it's EverQuest 2 for Pocket PC. <laughs> can I, can I, like, quickly show a logo somewhere that proves that this is actually EverQuest 2? Not really. <laughs> you're just gonna have to believe me. <laughs> Gotta uh, sit here and recover from my rabies. Oh, rabies is gone. I'm just, I'm betting there's going to be other exits. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's the proof. <laughs> It is, it is, like, actually wild that, uh, because EverQuest, so, like, World of Warcraft was a spin-off of an offline game. Whenever there's spin-offs of MMOs that aren't MMOs, that just seems so weird to me. <laughs> like, what a, what a strange thing to exist. And have three. <laughs> this is the second in a series of three. <laughs> Well, this appears to have been nothing. EverQuest Battlegate. Exactly, Speclad. And people, like, actually... Oh, yeah, I remember now. The reason I wasn't, uh... Wasn't just moving on with the poison is that you can get double poisoned. I did forget that you can get double poisoned. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> just thought I'd get double poisoned there, because I'm just a baller like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and recover. Didn't you say you ordered Dark Eyes Millennium 2000? Yes, I did, and then... Is anybody surprised that the seller went, oh, I don't actually have that in stock? I mean, the best I could have hoped for with Millennium 2000 is just recovering some assets. That's, that is the most that could have been possible there. Just get a few assets out of it. The actual game, you know, you ain't gonna make an MMO come back from the dead. I momentarily forgot that only I am uh, hearing my music. <laughs> Y'all are not hearing my music. It reminds me of how I went shopping for a game. They had the disc, but not the case, and they can't sell it without the case. Is <laughs> vlogging in chat? You just you need to bring a jewel case with you, so you just you can always provide your own jewel case. And better yet, put a UPC on the jewel case that says it's you know. My Little Pony Adventures or something that's not going to sell for a lot, and then that's what you use to uh, uh, get the price check on it. You have to hire an economic hitman to infiltrate Bandai and steal the server source code, says Fat God in chat. I wonder, how rich would you have to be for them to take you seriously when you're like, name your price to give me the source code for this game that you haven't had for this. Like, it's not even, like, nobody involved would actually care that much about the source code. Nobody's that precious about it. It's just, like, what would it take for them to even take you seriously? <laughs> That's the, uh, uh, the difficult part about it. Why is this the wrong, uh, elemental?
Like, maybe the best bet would be to try to find a programmer who actually worked on it and would just sort of accidentally have a copy of uh, something, like a test server or something. I love being constantly poisoned. My favorite part about this game is how I'm always poisoned. I just sit and wait to not be poisoned again. It's fun. Fun. Just whistling some of my background music that I can't actually have playing for you because somebody will uh, copyright claim it. Didn't take very long to find the fun we in this game, says Speckladder Chat. We knew. I mean, I've already played EverQuest 1 for Pocket PC. We knew where this was going. Have you tried to not get poisoned, says Joshua in chat? Oh. Sonic says, try not getting poisoned. Uh, oh, there I am. I was like, where actually am I on this map? I'm all the way up there for some reason. <laughs> Don't eat my flesh. I need that to live. I want to have my flesh. It's mine. You can't have it. Don't eat my flesh. Does Sonic say that? That's Fongy and Chad. Definitely, uh, Sonic, uh... What the hell was the name of that game? Sonic Unleashed for, uh, uh, J2ME does. <laughs> <laughs> that is Mama Pepperoni, Spec Lad. I can't, uh, I can't fault you that uh, examination. All of the, uh, for for some reason, all of the Russian composers in my music collection, which is like a solid third of them. Uh, in my collection, they all have their name in Cyrillic, and boy howdy do I not read Cyrillic, <laughs> so... <laughs> like, try to figure out by the number of letters. <laughs> Uh-oh, there's two of them. And I accidentally made another, uh, thingy-doodle instead of, uh... I made another elemental instead of flames, is what I was attempting to say there. Look at that power! I took down two of them! And by I, I mostly mean my elemental. <laughs> I was also there! <laughs> my elemental took down two of them, and I had big tits. <laughs> Love just, uh, breathing in that sewage air. 
It's the uh, it's the the odor that that lets you heal, Spongy. That's uh, that's the important part. You just have to stand right here and ah, raw sewage. It's nothing. See, like, they all poison you immediately, so now the actual battle was easy, but because they can double and triple poison you, I need to just sit here and wait for this poison to go away, otherwise the next battle will be extremely dangerous. But I'm impatient, so I'm not gonna do that. So when I die in the next battle, know that it was my own impatience that killed me. I think this is... Either where I came... No, this can't be where I came in, because I obviously would have followed the left wall. So I have found multiple echits now. I suspect that I don't want to echit at all, uh, but that he is in fact somewhere in here. Quest log, that's it. Search Genos Catacombs for Guard Liam. Right, so he will be in the actual uh, catacombs. Yeah, fine. That's right, Speckla. The guard did say there were multiple entrances, and he said that the one by the gates was better for no obvious reason. Was there uh, a traitor there somewhere? Uh, I think that there is actually a space there, and it's just very badly current. <laughs> Take that, you skeleton grunt! The first enemy not to poison me in forever! Not poisoned or rabies, d d d d d Um... I'm apparently focusing on a skeleton grunt that I can't see that's off the screen that way somewhere. See it! It doesn't see me! How did I... <laughs> Apparently I can focus on it from almost any distance. <laughs> oh yeah, I am so far away. Distance means nothing to this button. <laughs> Distance means nothing to uh, targeting. Too bad you can't freeze them from over here. Suspect that in chat. You can barely freeze them when you're standing on top of the damned things. What a surprise that the huge spider immediately poisoned me. So now I have to sit here and be green for a while. So, there are games where poison means nothing, and there are games where, like, you really have to, to react to poison very immediately, and, like, it's very, very important to deal with status ailments. And this is a game that's sort of in between, at least so far. Like, poison means that you have to wait for the poison to wear off, because it can double and triple po well, I haven't seen it treble poison, but it presumably can. Uh, and so, you need to wait for it, 
but you literally can just wait it out, and it doesn't do that much damage, so there's not any great reason to use the, uh, the poison heal. <laughs> so it's sort of the worst of both worlds. <laughs> Let's see how many poison stacks you can get. <laughs> what a great idea, Specklad. I'll, I'll get on that immediately. <laughs> Don't eat my flesh. Mine. Burn four. This is a fourth degree burn. I mean, it sure looks like it is. I am just like in an inferno. My, uh, fire elemental has rabies. <laughs> Why not? Can your fire catch on fire? Asks Specklad in chat. I don't know. I haven't seen it catch on fire. You would think not, but, you know... Is this game definitely going to make sense? <laughs> okay, I'm not in the uh, greatest condition here, but I think I'm probably fine. I don't have enough mana to do another regen, but uh, this spider will be gone immediately. And I am focusing on a Skeleton Grunt infinitely distance. <laughs> he's down there somewhere! He's, he's down there! My uh, Fire Elemental is mocking me by recovering before I do. It doesn't even matter because I can just summon another Fire Elemental. Except I can't, because I need to stop being green first. I'm filling in every corner of this map while having achieved nothing. <laughs> I'll focus on the next skeleton grunt along. Hi. How you doing? It'd be dumb if your fire elemental can be frozen, says Joshua in chat. Why would that be dumb? That should do a ton of damage against a fire elemental. I mean, you know, this is just an area that they force you to go into so that you'll uh, get experience. <laughs> this is a grind quest thinly veiled as a plot quest. <laughs> Hello. Skeleton warriors! To spec that in chat. Skeleton grunts. Let's sit here and recover for a bit. I sat there and recovered too long, got distracted. <laughs> Guess who poisoned me immediately? I am stunned. 
What I need is like a belt of poison resist. <laughs> I have no belt. That's the belt I need. By the way, can anybody else appreciate with me the just like very stupid Windows XP styled X button that they stuck on their game? That is not the emulator doing that. That is the game. <laughs> Sit here and be green. Sit here and be green. Stop being green and then wait to recover. Stop being green and then wait to recover. What a fun game. <laughs> I was just thinking momentarily, like, I wonder if I can project my screen to some other device so that I can play this in a more device-appropriate way, but I'm finding it difficult to imagine a device that would really fit the bill. Like, I could project my screen to an Android device, but this game, you really need to play it with a stylus. You can't use your big fat finger. Uh, this was from before the the capacitive touchscreen era, so you were expected to use a stylus. Could you project it to your compact eye pack? Aspect lad in chat. Boy, that's got dozens of megahertz. <laughs> I can foresee no way that that would not be sufficient for this task. Cool, look at all this stuff I can't use. Uh, that is the same item I am... No, it isn't. Oh, this is much better. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that, that, that looks very important, so I'm going to, as always, turn left. Oh no, that's where I've, that's where I came from. That does not look important. <laughs> In fact, left is also where I came, everywhere is where I came from. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Just filling out the map corners at this point. Oh hello, speaking of map corners. I did not mean to recast elemental, I click out there. What is, what is the processor on my compact IPAC 3835? It, uh, I, I think it's in the hundreds of megahertz, but low, like 150 or something. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe it's like 600 megahertz. I have difficulty, uh, trying to place where, like, handheld devices were in 2002. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna sit here and be green for a bit. I'm just gonna just gonna sit here and be green for a bit. I should have a snack to snack on every time I'm busy being green. <laughs> 206 megahertz, says a random website, says Feclad in chat. Yeah, I can believe that. So I, yeah, yeah, I, I, I thought it was in the hundreds, but low. I guessed a little bit low, but yeah, broadly that area. I'm green and a buddy, have a die. Okay, so if I go down here, then I can go out there and find something else to explore.
luckily, because of how it either loads in or, like, intentionally shows you where you're discovering areas you haven't seen before, it's pretty easy to know whether you've, uh... Uh, whether you're retracing your steps. Like, the fact that all of this is just loaded in, uh, and none of it was black and then loading in makes it very clear that I was already here. But now... I'm going to find a sign. And get my flesh eaten. I'm on fire and rabid. I'm both of those things. Temple of Bertach. Eulus hyphen hyphen. The Plague Bringer. Um. Th thanks, Plague Bringer. Could you could you not bring the Plague? I would prefer if you didn't do that. Um. But this is not. Uh, well, maybe maybe who's in what's it is a disciple of Bartolachus or whatever his name is, the Plague Bringer. Maybe that's the issue. I'm pretty good at pronouncing fantasy words. <laughs> Any fantasy letter they throw in there, like Q or X, those most fantastical of letters, I just pronounce by coughing up a hairball. <laughs> Bertochilus. See, like... This would be filled in if I had already explored that area. Hi. You seem like a friendly sort. Leave me alone. I have no money. You heard me, Spec Lad. Fantasy letters like X and Q. They can't be real letters. You are not permitted in the temple. Be gone. Okay, I'll go this way then. It's following the left wall anyway. You are a traitor. Kind of a shitty one, though. <laughs> kind of don't care. Just gonna quickly recheck. Yeah, there's no way to save from the screen. I, just, I don't know when I'm save. Does it auto save when I when I zone? Does it auto save frequently? Like what? Can can you? Oh, you you just will not pass this guy. This guy is is you, his his word is your bond, huh? It's just me or did your money not increase at all? Asks back that in chat. Thirty-one fifty-three. After buying all that crap, I was, I think, at like fifteen hundred. So I, it's increased a lot. <laughs> Why do I not care to challenge him saying that I can't enter the temple? Okay, you just sell the lower level version of the same stuff. That's bizarre. Let me through. Because you respect their religious freedoms, says Speclad in chat. Yeah, if they want to worship Bartolchilus, that's fine with me. You, you won't, you won't say, I can't, yeah, I can't just attack you. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you had a good conversation. Uh, I guess I just gotta hope that What's-His-Face isn't in there, because I apparently respect their religious freedom too much to do anything about it. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find anybody here or there. 
This could be a thing. This could definitely be a thing. I'm just trying to guess based on the shape of the map, like, which areas that I didn't go into are very much things, and which areas that I didn't go into are just nothing. This is a tiny, tiny minor thing, but I really appreciate the fact that uh, when I click on the health bar of the, uh, the elemental, I do actually walk in that direction. So it does not, it, it, the presence of that UI element does not block the other UI interaction. Uh, I guess I need to go down and around. Hi. Always with the setting me on fire and giving me rabies. What a what a rude fellow this flesh eater is. Well, I'm just going to sit here and be rabid for a bit. <laughs> If you're rabid and poisoned, do you turn greenish yellow? Is that how it works? I mean, the yellow I turn when I'm rabid is already kind of greenish. Or maybe that's just, uh, no, I think it's, I think it's actually intended to be plain yellow, but it's just about, like, the context you see it in. If you're rabid and you know it. <laughs> no, spec lad, no! <laughs> Ching. Instantly poisoned, as always. <laughs> Who cares if I get double poisoned? I'll probably live. It's nothing! Ooh, it's slightly not nothing. I'll bet that this connects up to, like, this area in some way. But the very fact that this is here to be like, nope, you can't go that way, kind of tells me maybe that area is more important than I thought it was. But I'm still going to go for that southeast area first. That seems more likely to be more helpful. Uh, oh, actually, no, no, wait, yeah, yeah, it's here, okay, so, just straight on here. Still green, still green, just sitting here, being green. Poison Ivy over here, this is Joshua Chad, there we go, I'm not green anymore. Wait for the poison to go away, because it's just going to go away with time. Then you stand for a bit and get everything else back. Yeah, I mean, this feels like a pretty important area, because look at how big the area that I can't get into is. It's just gonna be nothing. It's just gonna be nothing. It's just gonna be a chamber with nothing in it. Usually when they're making, like, labyrinthine areas, if they make an actual room, it's for a reason. It 
it was for no reason. I walked into this room and there's nothing here. I can already tell just by the fact that I'm attacking a regular skeleton grunt that this is nothing. <laughs> I walked in here for no reason. There's nothing. There's nothing in here. It's nothing! It's barrels that I can't even explode for some reason. Cool. I mean, other than the Temple of Jerkface, this is the only unexplored area, right? So I guess I'd better go that way. I guess this little tidbit there. And this little tidbit there. Maybe the guy is hiding in one of the barrels, says Becklad. Well, if he is, there doesn't need to be a damned thing I can do about it. That, 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 that. Sorry, <laughs> stopping my background music. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I get it. You're a greater fire elemental. Thank you. The, the one thing that I'm slightly concerned about is maybe the guy isn't actually down here at all, and you just use this as a path to get to where he is. Did I miss treasure? I missed some treasure. Silly me. Okay, I sort of accidentally explored the rest of this little corner here. How did you see the details of the elemental aspect, lad? What do you think? I clicked right there. Hi. Hey, Adventurer, you are just thinking you said? You respond that you are, but that you have no have had no success. Do not think badly of yourself for that. Liam has escaped the catacombs. You're Liam. I follow the trail to this point and believe he took this underwater tunnel to the docks. He may be attempting to board a ship and escape the city. Underwater. So he swum through sewage? <laughs> Jean Valjean up in here. I am resting for a moment before I attempt to follow him. I need you to take this report to Captain Tranmall right away. Do not do Hey, Tranmaw may be able to convince Sir Will Shell Ironforge to seal the port and prevent Liam's escape. Great. Okay, I had to take this report. Prevent the escape. Cool. Oop. Uh, I think there was an exit down here. We'll see where that pops me up in the real world. In the real world, what is this figure's world? Asks Speckled in chat. Fair point. <laughs> I mean, given that Liam escaped th by swimming through sewage, I don't think we have to worry about him. He is he is already deceased. He died of sepsis. Do you have a catacombs pass? By order of Sir Wilsham Ironforge, no one is to enter the catacombs without a pass. I exited the catacombs. <laughs> also, your word, like, usually when you talk to somebody, their words are in quotes to make it clear that they're talking and it's not the narrator. <laughs> well, okay, you would think he would do something about me coming out of the catacombs or whatever. By the way, I want to point out that these guards are wearing helmets that are, like, pre-dented in. 
<laughs> no pass back into the catacombs, says Vecklad. I mean, in a way, that would make more sense. Commercial shipping? All manifest to Port Authority. Oh, boy, I love commerce. <laughs> the most exciting thing in any video game is capitalism. I want to fill tax receipts. Genos Port Authority. So presumably I'll need to go there, but I do need to go to Captain Jerkface first, so. Okay, this is the Mills lure. I, am I really not allowed in? Am I it just, it's just closed? Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is actual, like, points for attention to detail that they've got, you know, these random barrels everywhere, and this one that's supposed to be catching, like, water from the gutter is actually full of water. Oh yeah, there it is again. Hope you don't mind that I exploded all of these buckets here. Eh, you're distracted by the furry you have, uh, assuming the position. It'll be fine. reply to me. Who will help me to act on this immediately? Please take it to help and report back to me on the response. Is no one in this town capable of walking? I will continue to interrogate this mole to see what other information he might possess. You're not in interrogating position. You're behind him, but, you know, have fun with your <clears throat> interrogation. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that Sir Wilhelm is going to be near the docks because it said something about him controlling the uh, commerce. And besides, he just seems like the kind of guy who hangs out by the docks. He's beyond the, because the knoll is talking out of his ass, says Fecklad. Hey -o! Uh, I think this building up here was the Port Authority, question mark? I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> I guess this building down here is the Port Authority. Yes. <clears throat> and the entrance is the side I just walked past, but I could not imagine that the game would put the entrance where it is obscured by the game. <laughs> um... What? <laughs> Okay, maybe that's not the entrance. How do I how do I get into the port authority? Is there no actual port authority? Does the port have no authority? I I guess this is just here for plot reasons. Oh no. Where's Sir Fancy Name McFancy Pants? Okay, he seems to be like the Duke or something, I guess, because he's Sir Fancy Face McFancy Pants. So maybe he's, maybe this is the Duckle Palace over there? Duckle Palace means palace for ducks, just in case anybody's uh, unclear about that. It's probably explained in the quest description, suspect that in chat. Man, I don't want to read things. Nope. 
<clears throat> I feel like that name has been used a lot, but nobody really suggested where I would find him. I mean, it, you know, I could very easily have just forgotten, <laughs> but, uh... Maybe, okay, wait, 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 wait. I've been treating the gates that I started by as the gates into the city. Like, if I walk past there, it's the gates to outside. But maybe that's, like, the keep. Maybe that there's the fortress, the duckel fortress in there. That's a fortress for ducks. I guess as a fan of EverQuest, you're supposed to already know where he is. <laughs> Spec in chat. I certainly hope not. Yeah, yeah, okay, so I've I've basically been, I think, like, over here, but, uh, <laughs> the rest of the, okay. Because I, yeah, 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 I assumed that this was going to be outside, because look at those palatial gates, but no, 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 I'm just walking into, like, the Duckle Fortress or something. It's Fortress for Ducks. The Lion's Mane Inn. Also, unusable. Is it there just to match the MMO or something? <laughs> in this house, we rough and tumble first, then ask questions later, says Joshua in chat. You're correct, except for the ever asking questions part. Yeah, I, this, this whole thing feels like a duckle palace. Or, well, no, that'll be the actual gate to outside. I don't think the doors are real, says Specklad. Well, yeah, yeah, but I, I agree. But, like, the reason why those buildings that are nothing are there is probably just to suggest that this is the same. Kano <laughs> says it's presumably in the real EverQuest. Yeah, this, this feels like real gates. Well, guess I'm just leaving the main town now. Oh god, nope, nope, not, nope, nope, never mind, change my mind, thank you. <laughs> I was expecting uh, a little bit more fanfare for where the actual exit is. Real gates from the maker of the real player, says Speckled in chat. No, it's actually from the maker of real doll. Temple of Life closed for renovation. Renovation closed for renovations. <laughs> Speclad, for some reason, I looked up Real Media recently, and while they have gotten entirely out of the Codex game, I feel like they they have some kind of service branch that, while they have substantially shrunk their service branch doing some kind of service for somebody is is still uh you know doing just fine finest weapons in genos And he's just standing, okay, he's just sort of standing around time, town somewhere. Sort of thought he might be the Duke. <laughs> Whatever. Sir Wilshelm Ironforge stands in front of his estate dressed in a fine suit of plate mail. He is quite an imposing sight, even though he is unarmed. <clears throat> You hand him Kern's report and wait as he studies it intently. An angry frown briefly crosses his scarred face. So, uh, what the hell voice did I give him ten seconds ago? <laughs> so, Chad Bell had a trigger in his mind and wasn't aware of it. I would dodge my own investigation and try to determine what needs to be done, space, 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 space. You are just missed. Slightly irritated by your abrupt dismissal, you wonder what Captain Tranmal was able to learn from Fippy Dark... Fippy Dark Ball. It's just somebody's persona. It's just somebody's persona. Iron Forge Estate. He just stands outside of his estate. I lost my key. <laughs> Fippy 
Fippy Long's talking suspect cloud in chat. I was about to press M for the map. Somehow I was convinced that would just make the map pop up. Hope you're enjoying all the excitement of walking back again. They sure place these two things at opposite ends of the uh, game arena. Oh, I'm going to get back and Fippy will have escaped and the guard will be dead. And they'll be like, oh, no. Oh, no, no, right, he's there. <laughs> wow, he has, like, a face. He has a face, and I am disturbed by the fact that he has a face. I don't know... I don't know if I like this. I don't want him having a face. The captain is visibly upset by your report of Sir Wilsham's actions. He does not seem to appreciate the seriousness of the situation. If what I've learned from Fiffy is true, this entire area is in grave donger, especially our city of Hanos. <laughs> and then there is still the matter of Guard Liam to deal with. There is no time to waste. So I'm just going to stand here and not do anything. Will you assist me by searching the waterfront for information about Liam? I know he used to frequent a bar on the waterfront called the Mermaid's Lure. <laughs> Did he now? Does your mother still frequent dockside bars? Dockside bars? <laughs> <laughs> I think I knew your mother, son. <laughs> the uh, phrase is it's not about the journey, it's about the destination, Joshua, but that is a phrase. That is an established phrase. <laughs> And also, the phrase is usually given the opposite way. It's not the destination, it's the journey. But uh, both, both, are, both exist. Like, how close I am to a, a level. What is this face? I don't like this face. <laughs> that face there. I don't like anything about it. <laughs> it's not about the fippy. It's about the destination. I'm just like trying to remember. Oh, this is okay. This is the mermaid's face. <laughs> the, the saying is the destination does not justify the journey. I glad in chat. A plus mixed metaphors. <laughs> I am Scotty Bluefin, the former fisherman and proud owner of the Mermaid's Lure. You should be more careful asking questions in this neighborhood. Almost everyone around here has something they are hiding, and none of them take too kindly to strangers asking questions. I may know something about the guard you are acting about, but my memory is fuzzy. Maybe you can do a small favor for me that would clear my memory. Why does everyone have a furry name? Asked Joshua in chat. Uh, I think uh, uh, the, the Fippy Cumpar, or whatever the hell his name was, had the most furry name. <laughs> I hope so. The cobwebs are already starting to clear. Take this IOU to Flint Caskin and tell him to pay up. I would have co collected it sooner, but he was taken to hiding in the temple of Bertoch. Alas, under the city. It is not an easy place to collect a debt, but look, you look confident enough to me. Good luck! Scotty Bluefin, that's a fish person for, he says Joshua in chat. Ah, good point. That's a, that's a, uh, blubby, as I, is the term I invented. <laughs> I am faintly concerned about how this game saves, 
So I want to discover how this game saves. My guess is that those screens were indicators of saving. So I am going to go ahead, blubby spec lad, as in blubber abbreviated. I'm going to go ahead and uh, exit just because I want to see. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I'm right here. Clearly I saved right there. Let me check my quest log. Yeah, okay. Everything looks great. Why? Why? What? Who told me to do this? No one told me to do this. What? <laughs> Maybe it just saves wherever you exit. That's but yeah, yeah. That was my guess. Is that uh, um, it, it's like every time you you change screens, it saves. Uh. I will say, for a small game, there's a lot of detail, says Joshua in chat. Uh, I, I don't know if I would qualify this as a small game. I mean, this is part two in a three-part series. Somebody cared a lot about this. Uh, it was, like, up over that way somewhere, maybe... Oh, yeah, well, yeah, 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 the, the actual size of the game. I feel like it's bigger than, well, no, maybe, yeah, maybe it's about five, ma'am, yeah. Let me, let me quickly check in a way that you can't quite see what I'm doing. Uh, it is about eight megabytes, about eight megs. Well, it's about eight megabytes compressed. It's about eight, eight megabytes cabbed. Uh, but, you know, you would expect the assets to be compressed, so... Yeah, not, 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 uh, big, but also, you know, like, bigger than an NES game. <laughs> and there's no damned music. <laughs> About Game Boy Advance size, says Joshua in chat. Sure, why not? I mean, the timing is also about right. This game would have been from somewhere around, like, 2003, 2004, so, yeah. It is, so, I think the, the thing that's really shocking about this game is it's, the very fact that it exists seems like it must be just the lowest, stupidest cash grab in the world, but it is like a game. Like, it's an actual game that somebody really, like, cared about and actually made. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a proper, full-on video game, not just a weird cash grab, even though you have to imagine that there is a certain degree to which it is just a weird cash grab. Are the enemies perma-dead? That seems so unlikely. But I feel like, yeah, I feel like I remember that from the, uh, from the original, actually. Hello, I'm back, and this time I demand entrance. Demand harder. By the plague bigger himself, old Scotty sure is a persistent devil. Take this bank draft to him and tell him to leave me in peace. How about I don't? So he's just like sitting here being drunk in a temple to the plague bringer. And I suppose it makes sense that a temple to plague bringer, bringer is literally in the sewers. Trying to decide what the fastest way out is. I think actually the same way I came in. At the very least, the same way I came in is the fastest way back to the uh, docks. Honestly, it is impressive how a lot of work gets crammed into a small enough space, like a lot of Java phone games and stuff. It's like, yeah, you could have just made some really cheap throwaway nothing, but they made three of these. Many animations have like five, ten frames is worth appreciating, says Joshua in chat. Yeah, well, so it is, 
it is worth finding the diamonds in the rough. It's like, there's a lot of crap. Well, not, but there isn't really that much crap for the Pocket PC platform because so little got... Like, who was making games for the Pocket PC platform? But J2ME, yeah, like, there's there's a lot of crap, and, and you can really tell when, when somebody was trying. Like, the... Uh, 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 Bioshock for, for J2ME for phone. That was weirdly excellent. And, and yeah, like somebody, somebody really tried to make that a good game. And then there are ones where it's like, uh, I mean, I, so, you know, on, uh, uh, Elder Scrolls, uh, travels, one of those, the, like, the, the producer or assistant producer or something in the game found my playthrough and the way he talked about it he was pretty much like yeah i was a cash grab <laughs> we did not give a shit about this game <laughs> Even the Diablo 2 bootleg for J2ME was oddly impressive, said Joshua in chat. Mm. A Minecraft? We like something a Minecraft with the likes of Fritz? You have the brains of a squid! I'd hope you were smaller than you looked! I... you're the... I just brought it to you. I just brought it to you. The up to you to decide whether you accept it. As you raise your weapon, what? Why? <laughs> what am I, a psychopath? What the hell is this? Scotty's demeanor rapidly changes. Whoa, well, uh, I didn't say I wouldn't give you the scoop on your god. Just hold tight. His voice changed, I know. Just hold tight for a second and let my memory clear. Whoo, you are a little quick to temper, aren't you? I appreciate the help just the same. Your god Liam took a boat and escaped to Erud's Crossing before Sir Will shut down the port. Now that all the ships in port have been searched, you should be able to obtain passage to Erud's Crossing on almost any ship in the harbor. In fact, if you go to the dock, there's a boat there now that will take you. How convenient. Take this capital T ticket to pass to ride the boat there to Erud's Crossing. It's good for a year, so don't lose it. Presumably you gave the IOU to the guy, so you just have the bank draft now, says Specklad in chat. What? <laughs> well, I think it's time for a midstream break. Midstream break time. Line piece! Line piece! Line piece! I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> Tetris God. It was, I think it was the college humor section. It was. I killed your mate. You fine with that? I'll chop you in half! Yeah, I'll bet she's not so happy about that. Get back here, you delicious treat! I should, like, grab a jelly bean whenever I do that and just go... Delicious butterfly. Just as a totally, you know... I mean, not... Just, just as a purely biological question. Can humans and katas breed? I mean, I, I just... Not, not that it, you know, matters for me in particular, but I, I just, it's just a question that I think would be of, you know, biological curiosity. People uh, of science would like to know. I, I just, um... <clears throat> it were an impossible dream while it lasted. Wait till he gets his nut butter stew. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> TMI! <laughs> Ah, that I was, was right! Was. I may not be, uh, good, but at least I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, let's let's just go elephant words for the moment. Maybe there'll be stuff to do here later. Okay. 
<laughs> you thought it would be that easy, huh? <laughs> we had a we had a good time. Save me. The colors, they won't stop! Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless, meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop, violent, grating, waveform, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless. Load me? Load me? L load me? Lo load load me? Load me? <laughs> load me? <laughs> load load me? <laughs> that that definitely says load me. Did did you want did you want me to save here and, and load it back load me? Click? No? Okay, thank you. To fight with honor is not always- I'm not honorable, I'm a thief! Sometimes the way of honor will seem foolish to those who have none. I have none! <laughs> Nevertheless, without honor there is no victory. Yes there is! There's victory in being a thief! <laughs> with, with honor there is no real defeat. Okay. <laughs> oh, I've really broken the game this time! <laughs> When I, when I said I was sure that it was, uh, definitely going to be H-O-C-C-O-H, I think I was correct. Because <laughs> this is the game telling me, what? <laughs> I don't know what you did, but I didn't anticipate it as of the video game, so you've just built some nonsense here. I'm so confused, what am I supposed to be doing? This is not a waltz rhythm. This is in six. This is not a waltz, this is in six! Yeah, nice, nice estimation. Ah, okay, I found a box of non-waltz that thinks it's a waltz for some reason. <laughs> I have my... My priorities. Yeah, yeah, your job is just to walk back and forth between these two shops, yes, taking yes. mints from one and giving them to the guy in yep. the other. I don't, I'm just here for a mint. <laughs> you might want to save before losing the mint next time. Yeah. <laughs> Walks in, says nothing, takes a mint, <laughs> leaves. As what a one nice does. guy. <laughs> The forgotten one of the ship that sails the cosmos. Whoa, pink! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I knew I shouldn't have played this game after smoking all that pot. <clears throat> okay, I am ready for ostrich, as ready as I'll ever be. I hate this. I wonder if old Bennett is into his research again. <clears throat> Whew, it's way too smoky lately. His research is smoky? Are you sure his research isn't just chain smoking? Viewers, how many times are we going to get smashed by these things? All. Zero. I was asking quick the jump, viewers, not you, DNH. <laughs> and then we just Answer fall back time. down here and we just okay. get into a nice little loop. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. We'll just stay stuck. And then we fall all the way down here. We get. We into somehow a nice managed loop. to barely squeeze through that little crack. <laughs> and then oh, we just jump on. down we'll here do and get into an even longer loop. <laughs> oh dear! Don't forget the double jump. Stop saying "oh dear" every time. <laughs> that doesn't help. <laughs> I mean, hooray! There you go. <gasps> <laughs> Yaw Weasel is the best and everybody else sucks. Okay. Oh, screw this level to Hades. That's not a doll of me? What? That's cheap. What? Wait, the what? <laughs> the Banakas are little living doll things of real people? What? 
Yeah, it's a tiny version of her! Why was she willing to give me, as a slave, a tiny version of herself? Ego's <laughs> monstrous plan must have been sent in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start <laughs> Oh, again, I, I, I occasionally have this moment where it's like, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> Okay, Mechanical Pencil, I don't like you and you don't like me, but we're gonna need to work together for a moment here. That was a special kind of hell. They give you a demonstration with one that's like four very slowly played notes, and then they're like, okay, now play this. I'm the scat man! Dear Pippi. Pippi? Dear Pippi, I'm gonna go with Pippi. Dear Pippi, I hope to see you soon. Oh, this is. Oh god, I'm gagging. Whoa! It is a blue scorpion with green lips. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, that, that action is going to haunt my nightmares for the remainder of time. Whoa, the oh, something about that color combination, plus the fact that its attack is like meh, 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 meh. that that was ooh, oh. Thank you, Mouse Cursor, for just appearing back in the middle of the screen there. Millions of years ago. That, oh god, the mouse cursor won't go away! Dinosaurs invented space travel. Ah, oh, the mouse cursors keep going back to the middle! A Tyrannosaurus named Rex was their first dino knot. This is his story. Oh, Mouse Cursor, why? Oh yeah, that's 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 there in the fountain. Okay. Uh, oh, and it ate our face. Okay. <laughs> wow. Cheers from everyone here. Me, Boy Man, Scruffy, and Stupidity. I don't know how your music and music goes, but I have heard rumors that it's possible that Mother 3 might finally get a release in the West. And, you know, uh, Earthbound Origins, aka Mother 1, got a release in the West shortly after I finished playing it. So I'm seeing a little bit of a pattern here, which is, Y'all Weasel plays a game that never got a release in the West, and then it gets a release in the West. So, just, you know, you're welcome. That's all. No, it's not doing anything. What do you want from me, game? Maybe I'll just leave him alone. <laughs> Bye! I don't actually care to kill you. Okay, okay. I'm slowly doing good things this way. Well, I killed him and myself. Does that count? <laughs> I got my life back, so technically I'm maybe kinda okay. That was not exactly well done, to say the least. <laughs> ooh, 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 snack, snack, snack! Oh no, I don't have my- I don't have my simulants out. My, my sim- simulacrums out. Oh, oh god, that was a buttered popcorn flavor jelly beer. Oh. Oh. I got buttered popcorn plus bubble gum. Nah. <laughs> this is the worst tasting butterfly yet. Clip. Oh god, in a moment this is gonna start requiring portals! Uh, uh, I don't know what the portals need me to do! Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, put that there, put that there. Okay, everything's good, everything's good. Okay, what what do I need to do? No, not that, not that, 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 uh, catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up, catch up, please catch up! Oh, look at how close I was! <laughs> I can't use the other soul sphere now, I'm just gonna use a large med kit. Yeah. Luckily, I have a meat shield on my right, and a level up! Good thing, oh, immediately yeah. after using a health kit again! -na 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 -na. You wasted a health kit! So maybe it's not that good, but it seems to be doing the... Game? Game? This is not what's gonna happen here! Grrr!
I hope you're enjoying Crashy Mon Vietnamese Crystal. Oh no, this is a It's a goo rod. <laughs> Guys, it's a goo rod. <laughs> Uh, why is it a goo rod? Uh, no, can't, can't, I can't go on this way. He makes a T-Rex noise. <laughs> Except that we have no clue what noise a T-Rex made. <laughs> he makes a Jurassic Park T-Rex right. noise, I'll say. <laughs> 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 I mean, given the sounds birds make, T-Rex would probably go, Bacar! <laughs> that's, that's probably the sound T-Rexes make. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not him. That, that's, that's a pig, a pig. sound. <laughs> I, was, I was not, that was completely not the sound I was going for, what? which is the weirdest part. What like, apparently I for? don't know. Well, I was, I was just trying to do, like, a weird duck sound. Just, like, duck <laughs> plus strangeness. I mean, and to be fair, it is a very weird <laughs> that's, duck. That's a very unusual duck. You know, one of those flightless pink ducks. <laughs> Yes, it's Walking Through Halls Simulator 2014! All the excitement of walking through halls... Holy bullets! <laughs> in hell! <laughs> Holy bullets in hell, Batman! What the hell, voice? Yep. <laughs> Just gonna leave this screen on and then occasionally the uh, logo will... Uh, appear where you can actually see it. There it is! <laughs> Quickly re-announce the stream. <clears throat> Welcome to the video game. The video game is Windows XP Professional. Uh, right. Quest lock, please. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow the trader to Erud's Crossing. And somebody else also wants me to go to Erud's Crossing. Which weirdly doesn't have a quest log. And I have no idea what this is. This is... I have no idea who asked me to do this. Why I want to do... Like, what is Shorefall Glade? <laughs> Where is it? Why do I think I want to go there? Give me a shisp. I want a shisp. There are no shisps on this duck. I think that's just a hint that you can get a quest in Surefall Glade, so spec that in chat. But where is Surefall Glade? <laughs> As in, like, that quest line will start when I get to Surefall Glade. Sure. Fall. This was the private dock, right? Passenger service to Erudin. So now it's Erudin. Tickets, please. If you don't have a ticket, don't even think about getting on the boat. After several days of fighting seasickness, you arrive at Erud's Crossing. What a, a great job telling, not showing. 10 out of 10 work. <laughs> Welcome to Erud's Crossing. I don't know why I gave that the tutorial voice. Erud's Crossing is apparently quite tropical. After several days of fighting seasickness, you board the ship. <laughs> you know, you look at the ship, you get seasick just from seeing it. That's a very realistic coastline right there. It's <laughs> just like a perfect square. This is definitely an artificial island. <laughs> What do you sell? Sword I can't use? Potions I don't want? What great stuff? Potions I don't want? Axe I can't use? 
It's a Minecraft artificial island, says Vecla. That does explain it. And this game only predates Minecraft by mm, a decade. Oh, oh god, I did not expect monsters out here for some reason. Karana Lioness. Uh, vulnerable to fire. Looks like a reasonably safe opponent. Good thing the fire elemental cannot be bothered with the lioness that's vulnerable to fire. I was pretty close to leveling up last time I could be bothered to check. <laughs> get, get close enough to attack, please. Thank you. Okay, other than the stunning and continuous failure, that was pretty good. <laughs> Hopefully not everything will poison me in this area. Wouldn't that be lovely? Just not being poisoned constantly. Is Erud's Crossing supposed to be safe? Like, there, there is a kind of town here that the monsters were just right next to town. <laughs> and I guess it's not so much a town as, as a crossing, <laughs> just a few shops. Yeah, don't don't focus on this enemy for some reason. It'll be fine. Every sound coming out of this game is lovely. I should get some ancient version of Winamp and run that on this Windows XP machine. Windows XP virtual machine, that is. <laughs> that should be, uh, that should be part of this experience. <laughs> Look at how close I am to level 15. Get yeah, Winamp 3, says spec that in chat. As if I remember what version is what. I'm I'm here. I'm at Arud's Crossing. I'm just gonna sort of cross the map in a southwesterly direction. <laughs> See if I can find the other corner of this uh, perfectly square island. Game does seem to be struggling just a little bit, like the sounds are having some occasional problems. I don't know whether that's the emulator, the other emulator. <laughs>
or just the uh, the game itself and like maybe this level's a bit uh, bit big for this game to handle. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some uh, additional. Sorry, I'm saying this from a weird angle. Some additional cooling for my main system. See if uh, see if that's just the issue. What's this emulator called? Asks Specklad in chat. Uh, device emulator. <laughs> it's uh so. The only emulators for Pocket PC that really exist are the ones by Microsoft, but the way they were distributed, like, they were only ever part of an SDK, which no great surprise there, but it just feels, like, really random. People just find, like, oh, well, this SDK for developing for uh, Windows Mobile only has an x86 emulator, whereas the, the previous version only has an ARM emulator, and the next version only has a MIPS emulator. <laughs> it's just, like, a weird mess that nobody's quite sure, uh, like, the, the complete list of... Uh, Pocket PC device emulators that Microsoft made. Almost certainly including Microsoft themselves. Yeah, so, something is really struggling. I'm gonna hope that it's the that it's device emulator and not uh, virtual box and not like something more generally with my system. <laughs> Just gonna sit here and recover for a bit. Everything's great. Well, found, oh, it's not perfectly square. Look at that. There's a tiny, tiny notch. <laughs> this rattler's not so great. Okay, I'm, I'm actually getting a little bit concerned by the uh, the weird sound issues I'm hearing. So one second, let me let me quickly check whether anything seems very suspicious. Uh, nothing, nothing on the system itself looks troublesome. Um, uh. The task manager won't launch, so that seems pretty good. Repent, reboot, reconnect, the speculated chat, brilliant. Okay, the task manager won't launch, so that's, that's probably fine. Uh, I think I need to zone to save in the game, and I would rather save in the game rather than, like, do a save state at that level or something. So, we're gonna, we're gonna just survive until the next time I have a real save opportunity. And then I will repent, reload, uh, reboot. I'm gonna blame Windows XP. <laughs> yeah, th those sounds shouldn't be happening. <laughs> Did you install Service Pack 2? Ask Speckland in chat. I have no memory. <laughs> Good pathfinding, great. I just realized I'm not going to get the opportunity to zone anywhere, because the only zoning would be boating back. This seems fine. Just walk on this. Oh, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, well, here's... Why do you need to zone again, asked Backlight? Because that's how, that seems to be the only way you can save in the game. At least that's, that's my guess. There is, uh... There is one slight alternative option, which I will now demonstrate to you, because this is having real issues here. Uh, this emulator does actually have save states built in it, so I'm going to go ahead and save state that way. I thought you just quit and it saves you, asks back that in chat. I mean, if that's how the previous one worked, then that's almost certainly how this one works, but I, I don't remember. Going to fully shut down the emulator, or fully shut down VirtualBox, that is. Didn't you already establish that in this stream aspect, lad? No, all I established is that it saves where you zone. Because I zoned in, zoned out, and then reloaded, and that was saved right where I exited that, uh, uh, exited the zoning. Look at that save state. Loads right back clean. Does not load into the same physical position. Cool. I guess I don't know why I expected it to. I will enjoy uh, cropping it differently every single time I play this game. <laughs> Oh, cool. I save stated, so now it has no sound, which is much worse than broken sound. Ah, good. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna test Speclad's theory. Let's see if you're right. I'm gonna just attack the wrong enemy. I just want to see if uh, just restarting the game is sufficient, if it's just a save state issue. No, I would have heard some sound just from this other stuff. Okay. So save stating is not really a good option because of the... because of other crap. Uh... How do I... how do I just shut down? Well, I seem to have just shut down in that it's totally frozen now, so that's like being shut down. Let's play Jawbreaker for the pocket PC, suggests by Glad in chat. There it goes. Awesome. It restored state when I didn't want it to. <laughs> uh... Let me exit here, exit fully, wait for it to like properly exit and give me the menu back. Oh good, the emulator's in a different spot again. That's not going to get annoying. DD, okay, so you need to give the emulator a hard reboot in order to get sound working. That is very unfortunate. Oh! Oh. 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 <laughs> that's, that's what hard reboot means, huh? That's, 
what hard reboot means. I'm Cowboy Robin! <laughs> Cowboy Robin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just I have no idea where that was supposed to be going okay so we know it's a fire element uh no I did not have that save state that is not how this emulator works that would have been too convenient but I do have this save state because I saved the entire emulator state uh before uh like midstream break time. Okay, so from this, let's exit properly, exit. So how do I how do I just like leave? Okay, I'm gonna do a soft reset because now I wanna see what the hell anything means. I assume soft reset means don't delete everything. Yeah, okay. But I do want to... I still... I don't trust whatever is happening with the sound, so... I'm going to... do the, the full, the full everything. The full, the full, the full Monty. Let's watch Windows XP boot. I'm going to need to get some Windows XP program to just set a window in a fixed position, because <clears throat> next time I'm doing this, it's going to be uh, very annoying to keep doing this. Now... I'm actually still going to soft reset the emulator because I don't trust its save state either. I trust nothing. Could probably write it in J script, suggests Speckland in chat. Someone could probably write it in J script. Don't say you as in I could. <laughs> Beautiful loading sound, says Joshua Chat. Non-broken loading sound. Oh, this is the wrong duck. Okay, hold on a bit. I have to get back where I was, which was just like across the sea and then accomplish nothing. So not exactly. Uh, uh, <laughs> didn't really lose anything there. I, I didn't. I didn't even talk to him. I didn't agree to cross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not sure where I clicked that it decided was too damned close. So now I'm going to follow the right wall because I know better. What is this going to say? Oasis? Oops. Fresh drinking water. Do not contaminate. Let me just piss in that. Okay. Wow, irrigated fields, like, just smack dab in the middle of the desert. <laughs> That's not how desert works. Um, my, uh, my friend is having a bad time here. Is that a sheepdog? <laughs> Just wandering back and forth up there. Doesn't look like a monster, looks like a friend who's not being very friendly right now. Oh that no no that's that's not a sheepdog, that's a lioness. <laughs> Similar. A 
Listen to that sound not be screwed up. I'm going to have to remember that I need to uh, reboot between, uh, between, just between. My kingdom for X do tool. Let me think. X do tool search window quote pocket PC 2003 second edition end quote De uh, window move X position Y position. <laughs> I think that's how you do it with X do tool. <laughs> uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, that snake was not that desperate to fight us. Probably wise, to be honest. It's time to stand around for a bit. Stand around until I'm not green anymore. What's your progress towards the next level aspect, lad? I mean, I lost a, a bit of it between, uh, with, with all that crap, but yeah, still quite close. I think I'm about up to the point where I was when I botched everything. <laughs> Heal! Heal faster! Do it! Do it! I thought I heard a gong when you were playing before. Maybe that was a level up, says back that in chat. Well, yeah, I'm about where I was the last time I actually checked. It could very well be that I did, in fact, level up. But I didn't uh, deal with it yet. And didn't notice it. Am I just expected to, like, search this giant empty map? That seems faintly extremely lame. <laughs> Did it... What, did it drop me off in the wrong place? Why am I nowhere? I entirely forgot this existed, says Dog the Fox in chat. It's, uh... I mean, if you even knew that it existed, then that's uh, one up on me before I played the first one. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Are you playing as Fiona Reed? <laughs> Says Dog the Fox in chat. What's going on? Uh, I don't, is this is this a recognizable character from actual uh, EverQuest? Because <laughs> uh, this is just the the wizard character from this game. I guess I can't bring up any kind of like character portrait. 
Uh, the the wizard character we've established that magic is stored in the boobs. That's the that's the important part. She's the mascot of EverQuest One. Yeah, I mean, no great surprise that uh, they they brought over their misogyny from the desktop game into the uh, pocket PC game. <laughs> I mean, you know, they, they know their target audience. Magic is stored in the boobs. That's an established fact. Oh, this is Liam, Liam the guard. We're just killing, like, this is the, the important guy. Um, okay. I thought he would be more of a threat. I mean, I, I'm quite hurt, but I sort of came into this quite hurt, and now he's going to be dead. Guard Liam fought like a man possessed. His many years of training in the Hamos Guards makes him one of the toughest opponents you have ever fought. Eh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I think I've fought giant spiders that were harder. But you were victorious in the end after seconds, seconds of battling. On his corpse, you find a note that reads, You fool! That furry has betrayed you! Escape while you still can! Your incompetence can still ruin everything! But I am taking measures to repair the damage to our plans. Attempt to make contact with the Aviox in the southern plains of Karana without alerting Sir Morgan to your presence in the area. Ensure the Aviox realize the importance of their part in our plan. W. W. Okay, so... The... I'm assuming this was a note to Liam, because Liam's name doesn't start with a W. <laughs> he... Oh, W could be Wilshelm. Good thoughts, Becklad. I actually didn't, didn't connect that. Uh, Liam was a betrayer. Uh, but he was betrayed by the furry. Uh, and then he escaped, and meanwhile, W, uh, well, I guess he still wants, he wanted Liam to make contact with the Aviox, so the Aviox and, uh, the Aviox on the plains of Karana are... And the bad <laughs> badens, or at least more potentially badens. Captain Tranmal needs to hear of this note. Definitely, he will have more quest for me to quest. Let me just delete that body. And now let's stand here and recover. <laughs> Don't move, or you will die. <laughs> Okay, well, I found- oh, hello. <laughs> hello, new friend. <laughs> Goodbye, new friend. Uh, well, I guess I'll just go right back again. <laughs> I don't know what the hell else I would be doing here. <laughs> Did I get that level up? Asks Specklad. Oh yes, look at that. Now that suggests... Look at that, I have two levely points. I can upgrade Freeze 5. Freeze is doing, like, most of the crap here, so that seems not unreasonable. I feel like in the last game, I was probably trying to keep these about equal, which was probably very stupid. Let's update Freeze 5. Now it's Freeze 6. And I can even update it to Freeze 7. Yeah, screw it. Why not? <laughs> Let's focus on Freeze. We're gonna be the, the Freezy. <laughs> well, we have Freeze powers. Next time. Next time I'll get the fire elemental uh, to sort of match levels, but let's let's go crazy with freeze. Oh. 
What are the stats on it now? Asked Speckled. You know, for some reason, it didn't occur to me to check what I had just actually done. <laughs> One of the stats is that it takes more magic, which isn't too surprising. Love that skeleton laugh, says uh, Joshua in chat. All the sounds are sounds that are in this game. Uh, 23 to 27 damage times 5. That's that's pretty freaking good. That's uh uh that's like 125 damage right there. Let's go on a long walk back again. Nothing more exciting than that. Walks are good for the soul, says Joshua Jet. Welcome to Erud's Crossing. I like this is the kind of sign that like it is far too video game brained that like the sign for the docks on the other side said docks. The sign for the docks on this side say welcome. <laughs> the, the assumption is you're traveling in that direction. <laughs> the return trip seems a little more pleasant, and after several days, you pull into Genos. I feel like pull into is a little bit too car of a term for them to use for a ship. <laughs> A fun fact about this map, there are invincible cactuses on it because they forgot to pack in the cactus sprite. Suspect that in chat. Oh, invisible, not invincible. I was like, why would that make them invincible? It would not. <laughs> you show the note to Captain Tranmal. There is much that needs to be done. I must ready the garrison in case of attack. The walls need to be reinforced and weapons made ready. You must help me get the warning up to the surrounding areas, the Rangers of Surefall Glade. Well, I had I had a reason to go to Surefall Glade, though I don't know what that is anyway. Need to be informed of the threat from Blackborough, and I need to request their assistance in scouting out the surrounding area. Also, our guard forces and the farmers in the plains of Karana need to be warned of the threat from the Split Paw Lair. Wait. Split Paw is now, like... I thought that was just this one furry's name, but now that's like the entire lair. Uh, I am thinking hard right now. So the there's a there's a quest that it doesn't want to put in my quest log because it's shit. That is also in uh in. This place in in Erud's Crossing. The furry's name is Dark Paw, not Split Paw. Says back that in chat. Ah, oh, it's just generic furry name number six four two. That was merely the name I I and I forced onto him, Joshua. <laughs> <clears throat> Although that's definitely his true name. So the there's a random woman somewhere who was like My husband went to Erin's Crossing, what an absolute piece of shit. And it won't put that on my quest log, but I do remember saying that. I don't remember where the hell she is.
I mean, she's not gonna be back here. <clears throat> you gotta find the farm with the cow. Says Speckloud in chat. I know that it's in this area, because I stupidly didn't even find my way out of that area. I'm, I'm literally, I just want to find her to make sure that I didn't hallucinate her. <laughs> I think I may have hallucinated her. I recognize the fact that y'all also remember seeing her. But just because it was a shared hallucination doesn't mean it wasn't a hallucination. I would just really rather talk to her before going off on some wild tangent just in case I, like, misremembered and it wasn't Erud's Crossing that she said or some. Found her. I'm, okay, I'm gonna finish that only because I know I would forget it if I don't, since it's not putting it in the quest log. So, <laughs> off to Arud's Crossing I go. My, uh, pass lasts a year. Each time I go, it seems like it takes maybe three or four days. So, I can only go about, uh, 50 times. They'll definitely keep track of that. So your husband decided to go and hide out somewhere extremely dangerous, huh? Seems like he might not be the uh, sharpest tack in the drawer, huh? You would think he would be in the more, like, townish area. It's just, it's just like a giant empty field. Why is this area a giant empty field? Well, time to just scour this giant empty field. I did technically already go to the far southeast, even though I didn't do that in this reality. I have no fear. Should I have no fear? Uh, no, I should definitely have fear. But I choose not to. It's time to choose to have some fear. I choose now to have some fear. <laughs> I think the, uh, it would have been much more worthwhile to put those levels into the fire elemental simply because the fire elemental lasts an eternity. <laughs> he is immortal. <laughs>
I'm not eating candy on a stream, you are. I don't know why I thought he might be hanging around this one weird, like, wooden pillar. <laughs> Maybe one of these skeletons is the, uh, jerk. Maybe he, uh, did not survive his time over here. <laughs> we can hope and pray. Maybe he's in the lava area. Maybe he burned to death. Nothing. It's just, why make this area so big and then put nothing in it? <laughs> I mean, I can almost see like a realism argument that, you know, in the real world, sometimes there are places that just aren't very interesting, but... They have to put them in the game? <laughs> I think it's time to wait for actual mana healing. I'm still not eating candy on stream, and you still are. Is it just me, or is this spell fizzling far more often, which just makes it, like, worse? <laughs> Why does my candy taste like vodka? I'll uh, join chat. My candy tastes like unfermented, undistilled rum. Why? Why give me a needle in a haystack hunt? It's like, what the hell was the point of this? And it's not even on the quest log. What if they just didn't finish this quest and that's why it's not on the quest log? <laughs> like, what if he's not even here? <laughs> what if there's no one to talk? What if he is one of the skeletons? <laughs> Do it for map completion, suspect that in chat. I mean, it is an inevitability that even if he is here, he is in the very last place that I would look. Not just the last place that I will look, because that's obviously true, but the last place that I would look. And wait to stop being green. Wait to stop being green. Yeah, screw it. Oh, 
I'll just leave that lioness alone. Too busy being green right now. Now that I'm not green, now I wait to heal. I know how to do things efficiently. Because I'll stop being green in the same amount of time regardless. But I can only wait to heal once I'm not green anymore. I mean, these, like, rocky volcanic areas, <laughs> they can't just be nothing. I mean, obviously they can. <laughs> Hi. You see a man matching bloody... <laughs> the game actually did just fuck it up. Yeah, 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 this is a very silent game, Joshua. The game... The game really did just fuck it up. I just... I'm so upset by that. <laughs> okay, let me... Let me explain the F up the game made here. Uh... I talked to her. Immediately behind her, I saw a sign for Bloody Bill's Butcher Shop. And... I sort of joked... That, like, she had said her husband Bob, but the sign was for Bill, so, like, who's Bob and who's Bill? Is she, like, fooling around or something? But I was just assuming it was actually a different place, and it was not, it was, you know, I was just creating a connection. No, 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 it just can't, his name, his name is actually Billy Bob, says Joshua in chat. That is, that is the best explanation. You see a man matching Bloody Bob's description eyeing the crater. As you approach, he speaks. <laughs> you tell him your name and mention the letter Mealy gave you. Oh, so Mealy said to me, she, she knows I'd like to stare at this crater and thank you, Bobby. The smooth flow of the lava food tree could not be less smooth. Could not be less smooth. Smooth. <laughs> Let me have a look at what she has to say. You hand over a letter. Well, this is the first she's admitting she's wrong. I can't recall that ever happening. She must be really upset. Well, I guess I should go back. The barn is too much trouble for one person. Thank you for bringing this. And then you shove him into the lava. This incredibly flat crater is a spec lad. Also a good point. They could have just not drawn it like this. Please take this note of mine back to her. You will let her know I'm coming back, but I can't be bothered to just come back now. He hands you a sealed letter. What happens if I talk to him now? And just exactly the same message. Cool. So, uh, fantastic tiling work, of course. Fantastic tiling work here. Very good. 10 out of 10. You already had a sealed letter prepared? Asked <laughs> Speckland in chat. Apparently. I don't see a writing desk around here. I don't see a wax seal. <laughs> Damn shame cell phones don't exist, says Joshua Chat. I mean, just because I'm playing this on a uh, possibly cell phone capable device doesn't mean that Bloody Bill has a cell phone. Wonder what he would have said if you had talked to him before initiating the quest, asks Beckloud in chat. Excellent point. The world may never know. <laughs> Who are you and why are your boobs staring at me? <laughs> they just do that, okay? 
They're, they're, to use the technical terms, they're bazongas. Apparently, this is the protagonist's voice. <laughs> this is her voice. Uh, I think it was like down here. You should have named your character Isophere. I Ice. Isafir, Isafir, I don't get the jokes, but glad. <laughs> and besides, you name your character by writing it, so given that her name is just like illegible scrawl, it could be anything. Thank you for delivering the letter to Bob. I hope it convinces him to return. What? You have a letter from me, from Bob? You hand over the letter that Bob gave you. This is wonderful. He's coming back to me. Oh, thank you so much. Here, take this ring. It was my father's, but I don't need it. It might just help you out in your adventures, though. She hands you a rather chilly golden ring. A chilly golden ring. A golden ring made of chili dogs. You have to pronounce the P and H separately. Isop here. Isop here. Isop here. I sup. I s I sapir. I I I su I sup. I I don't get. I still don't get it. <laughs> Ring of ice. Uh, cold resistance plus fifteen. Neato. I'm currently wearing a ring of lesser resistance, which is plus five to everything. That seems better, frankly. And a ring of the dog. Which is Constitution plus 10, which also seems better. Eyes up here. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it, Speglat. <laughs> uh, right. So what was my actual quest? What was I supposed to be doing? Go to Surefall Glade. Warn the guard force in the plains of Karana. I don't know where either of these places are. <laughs> uh, I mean, I assume that neither of them are off in Ripith Crossing, so... Although, wait, wait, wait. That was a... There was some mention of Karana in Erud's Crossing, wasn't there? <laughs> Speglet says, thank you for delivering the letter to my husband, Bob. Now could you deliver this letter to my other husband, Bill? <laughs> that, that, that all seems to follow. What was the mention of Karana in that area? Was it a Karana lioness? I think it was a Karana lioness. Yeah, 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 yeah. The lionesses is, is, is where Karana lionesses. So Karana is probably over there. But this does say to the east, and that does not feel especially east. Furries in stocks. Furries in stocks. In the letter you recovered, tell the guy to go to that place to join the forces with some other guys. Ask Speklad in chat. Yes, yes, that was the, yes, that was the reference to Karana. Yes, okay. Yes, thank you. Oh, that's just another entrance to the catacombs.
Huh. Oh, that's just yet another entrance to the catacombs. Okay. Okay. Now I'm in Kano's Hills. I need to censor this. <laughs> I need to censor that. Uh, east. Always into the east. I'm a sort of kind of follow the path. East to Plains of Karana, always into the east. So what were the Karana lionesses doing over there? <laughs> A null pup must kill every furry. They're migratory, so inspect that in chat. I mean, that's as good of an explanation as anything else. Good job defending. There was a knoll right there. Is that you have a warning from Captain Chadbot? I fear that it is too late. I am Commander Hwelden, Commander of the Kato's Guard in the Plains of... W is also a fantasy letter of the Karana. I have no word from my guard post. I've heard, I have had no word from my guard post in several days. There's a, there's a knoll coming. You explain Captain Tranmol's concerns about the knoll activity in Blackborough and Splitpaw. <laughs> the concern about knoll activity, about furry activity in furry place. If it is as you say, then we have serious problems. Up to this point, only my guard posts and patrols have been attacked. The farmers and merchants have been left alone. I assumed the attacks were aimed at my guards as retribution for some perceived wrongdoing on our part. If the Knolls are planning a general offensive against Khedos, <laughs> then all of the inhabitants of the area are in danger. We must warn them immediately! Are these the same guards from Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> Asks Joshua. It was the Steel Watchers in Baldur's Gate 3 who just gave zero shits. Take this warning to the Cleet Miller farm. Oh, Cleet Miller is... Okay, I thought, I thought it was trying to say someone who mills cleats. <laughs> they are the first farm that you will encounter in the western plains of Karana on the road from Kados. <laughs> Ask them to spread the alarm. You wanna, you wanna fight that knoll, or... No, you're just gonna sort of leave it? You, you're not, you're not that concerned about him, or... I mean, I'm fighting him, but, um... You're a very good guard. You're like a... You're a great guard. Good job guarding! I'm proud of you! Am I not in attack range? Why am I not attacking? Is it able to kill the guard, asked Joshua? I doubt it. Can guards die, asked Joshua? I doubt it. Most important quality of a guard must have is stoicism, says <laughs> Peklad in chat. I mean, he's certainly stoic. You can't say he's not stoic. I mean, you could, and you'd be correct. <laughs> I mean, that's- that's a fair point, Goffin. His guard- his job is not to guard me. His job is to guard this bit of cement. <laughs> Just gonna stand here and guard this with you for a moment. So even when I'm not under threat, my spells can just fizzle because I guess I'm just kind of bad at magic? Okay, off I go to the first farm I fee. <laughs> Cletus Miller's farm. To the plains of Karana. Now, don't be confused. He said to go to the westernmost Karana, but that's east of here, which means I only go east to get to the westernmost point.
to Hainos Hills. Those signs make sense. I hope I ho ho pardon that I encounter this first farm. Don't get confused. Great asp! You got a great asp. Die! <laughs> I'm assuming this little side thing will go to the farm, because the farm would not have, like, a major road going straight to it. Wow, I'm just really bad at magic, huh? When did I forget how to do magic good? <laughs> I could really, uh, use some do magic good right about now. And sit here and recover. <laughs> I've gone way too far down this path. There is no way that this is correct. It would not send you this far afield. But, you know, sunken cost fallacy, here I go. <laughs> Am I going the right way? I'm confident that I'm not, but look at all this cost I've already sunk into it. This is gonna just lead to the edge of the map. <laughs> Karana Shadow Wolf. This is a uh, even match enemy. Feels like maybe not a perfectly even match. <laughs> oh, interesting. That's how the potion works. Hmm. Please cease being alive before I cease being alive. Thank you. Uh, let's let's stand here for a bit. Let's let's just stand here for a bit. How's that for an idea? Let's stand here for a bit. <laughs> okay, I need something that recovers like 200 HP, not uh. 40 or whatever this does. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Uh. One hundred. That's the quarter flask. Yeah, okay. It's it's very telling that the game is giving me really light healing potions. I think that what's happening is it did actually level the enemies to me, but it didn't level the drops to me. And so I'm getting drops for like a level one character, even though I am playing as a level 15 character against level 15-ish enemies. So that road led nowhere. 
It's just a just one of those nowhere roads. I remember seeing, was this in, uh, it was somewhere in, in the States, a uh, uh, billboard paid for by, you know, presumably a <clears throat> concerned citizen that said, you just crossed, name of governor or something, bridge to nowhere, wasted taxpayer money or something. It's like, this is the worst conceivable place you could put that message, because I did just cross it. <laughs> Like, I just used that bridge. If you think that bridge was a waste of money, don't tell the people who just used the bridge, you moron. Uh, so is there like an actual farm anywhere? They're like, are th are th does any agriculture happen in Karana whatsoever? Aspiriculture happens. Poison, poison everywhere, says Spongy in chat. You're damned right. Let's sit here and not die for a moment. <laughs> Let's sit here and not be dead for just, just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, a skosh. I'm just gonna get a big ol' handful of candy, stick it on my desk, and just dive into it whenever I'm healing up. I mean, not candy. I'm not eating candy. What you just heard was a healing potion. That looks promising. That seems like farm kind of stuff. That no longer looks promising. That looks promising again. Hi. <sighs> if only the Herald Guards could clear these plains of all the bandits. I have seen no bandits. I have seen many gnolls, many wolves, many snakes, no bandits. Why, just last night, a group of them stormed into my house. I barely got away. Luckily for me, I woke up in time to hear them coming. Wait, maybe you can help me on this. If you could kill their leader, the rest would surely leave. Could you get him for me? I would be very grateful. Okay, I am a murderer for hire, apparently. Let me guess. Yep, no quest. <laughs> Knowles, we aren't talking about Knowles here. My family's encountered roving bands of aviacs moving north and west from their homes in the southern plains of Corona. If, uh, we have had almost no contact with Knowles, certainly nothing out of the ordinary. In fact, the Knowles seem to have withdrawn to their lairs. I assumed it was in response to the increased aviac activity. There is no lost love, no love lost between Split Paw and Aviac. You assure Cleet that Captain Tan Tranmal's warning is accurate. Look, my family has poured their last blood into these farms. There's a danger... By the way, he didn't mention any raiders. I guess maybe the Aviacs are the raiders. 
Up on their live blood in these farms. This is a dangerous area, but there have been millers here for hundreds of years. I can't speak for the entire family, but I would be surprised if any were willing to leave their farms. However, I know they would appreciate the warning. Please take this note uh, from Commander Weldon to Hanina's farm also. Her farm is located on the same road further east. So I'm, I'm assuming over by... Oh, this, probably the same road up there, but further east. Cluck. Cluck, cluck. Cluck. The spelling of cluck, C-L-U-K, distresses me for some reason. <laughs> The further you got away from the starter city, the more normal the games became, says Joshua in chat. I have no idea what you mean by that. Clock. Maybe it's Kluk. <sighs> okay, find some raiders kill them because I'm a murderer for hire. Actually, for nothing. She just asked me to do a murder and I was like, well, I do love murder so sure, I'll do that. I mean, I also didn't technically agree. <laughs> I never said yes. I just sort of, <laughs> she just asked me to do it and it was just assumed. <laughs> well, I found a bandit who appears to be very undead. Like, extremely undead. Uh, maybe it's just something with his armor that looks a little bit undeady. <laughs> Not murder when they're bad, it says Fecklad in chat. <laughs> Spoken like a true Imperator. Ah! ah! I'm really enjoying his ah! <laughs> Th this is nothing. What's with all these little, like, almost buildings? <laughs> Why is this here? What is this supposed to represent? It doesn't have any doors. <laughs> I mean, I, I shouldn't just continue to follow this road because I don't actually want to zone. To Central Plains of Karana. Well, I'm going to do that anyway. Just in case zoning and saving are in some way related, which I am just utterly... I have no idea at this point. It's just, it's just something. <laughs> The Karana Shadow Wolf is quite troublesome, but part of what was so troublesome about it last time was that uh, I, I didn't manage to get my ice move off, uh, which was just bad luck. And this time it's going to kill my uh, elemental. What an absolute turd. You don't save in an MMO, says Spongy in chat, and that's what this is. Check if the Shadow Wolf has any weaknesses. Uh, vulnerable to fire. Good thing I've got a fire elemental. Unfortunately, I don't have a flame move to go with my, uh, uh... <laughs> move. <laughs> with my recovery, I'm probably fine. I feel like the Shadow Wolf just recovered, but, you know, whatever. Does seem like, uh, almost everything is, uh, weak to fire. <laughs> Kinda makes sense. <laughs> Please die before I die. Please die before I die! Thank you. Everything's great. No problems whatsoever.
I guess it doesn't actually make sense to do that as quickly as possible. I should wait until I have more mana, because I still have to wait to continue recovering. Thoughts on the game so far, as Joshua and chat? Just profoundly forgettable. <laughs> it is... one of the more well-polished cash grabs, but it is a cash grab. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. Like, the plot is nothing. The plot is just, you know... I mean, I, you know, I haven't seen most of the plot, obviously, but uh, it's very much like... Ask an AI to make you a, a uh, 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 fantasy plot. <laughs> Knolls are attacking, but it turns out they're in league with the, the AVX and... So, <laughs> Like, it, it's just sort of, there's an enemy, deal with enemy, rather than any deeper meaning so far. Again, it's not like I've actually played the entire game, so I don't know the entire plot, but certainly nothing has suggested a lot of depth so far. What a great viper. One of my favorite vipers. It vipes really well, says Specklad. It's, uh, among all of the vipers, it is one of the best at viping. I mean, it did vipe pretty well. Like... I, I was not feeling especially viped before fighting that viper, and now I'm feeling extremely viped, so... It's, 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 it's a viper. It, it viped me, it viped me pretty good. I'm just looking for where the bandits are coming from. I'm just hoping to find the bandit lair. I'm trying to do the side quest simply because the side quest doesn't show up in your quest log, so if I uh, don't do it now, I will forget about it. <laughs> Do I really think that their lair is going to be along this wall? Probably not. <laughs> Okay, instead of using that move, I accidentally resummoned my uh, fire elemental. <laughs> Great use of mana, 10 out of 10 work. Flawless victory. It's doing the thing again. <laughs> the sound is going a bit weird. I think it's time to figure out uh, exactly how much needs to be done with when the sound is going weird. So I'm going to... Zone, again, just in case, saving, blah, 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 blah. Uh... And then immediately get attacked by a viper, and... Okay, you know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna... Just gonna stand right here. <laughs> It'll be great. Yes! <laughs> Everything's fine. Uh, and then I'm actually going to exit. And I'm gonna... The minimal thing I'm gonna attempt is just a soft reset of the uh, device. Let's see if uh, it acts a little bit uh, friendlier after a quick soft reset. Because the fewer layers we have to, to reset in order to get the emulator back into a happy state, the better. It could even be that it's nothing to do with the emulator and the game really does just start to sort of have issues. Okay, okay, that was 
That was real bad. That was, like, properly very stupid of me. <laughs> I just clicked somewhere and pretty much killed myself. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's real good. <laughs> I just wanted to be green, you know? Sometimes you just want to be green. Please survive the green. Please survive the green. That'll help me survive the green. Okay, 10 out of 10 work, professional video gamer. I th think I just heard a uh, the sound of audio screwies, which suggests that uh, resetting just the CPU is not sufficient. I probably need to at least reset the uh, emulator, which makes sense. Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, I will try the next stage, and while I am at it, I will test something else I wish to test. Once this great viper is a dead viper. Jeez. S Cease being alive! I, I was referring to the Great Viper, not my, uh... Not my, my, uh, elemental. But, you know, you do you, I guess. Am I doing anything? That did something. Okay. <laughs> Next thing to test, I'm going to l quit here with that uh, corpse there, so that if it does save usefully, that will be some strong evidence of how useful it's saving is. So, let's uh, quit the emulator, restart the emulator, it's gonna load in yet another location, very annoying. Uh, soft reset. You know what? Mm, yes. I was thinking maybe all I need to do is restart the emulator. I'm betting it's actually VirtualBox. It's more likely VirtualBox than anything else. At least you have no upcoming appointments, says Joshua in chat. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> As in, in the, uh, in pocket PC. <laughs> oh yeah, wow, that is one complete save. Also, it seems like it started full healing me immediately, so that may be a cheaty way to get an actually faster full heal. <laughs> The enemies in this area are fairly tough, which is a good thing, because it presumably means that, uh, this bar... Oh yeah, that bar is already, like, halfway. That's, that's quite good, actually. I see a bandit. Ah! Well, faster if exiting the game is faster, says Bongy in chat. It most certainly is! 
Though I doubt that's gonna cure green or yellow, so it doesn't really, like, that's the, the bigger weight, not the, uh, waiting to heal. The waiting to heal is a much smaller weight by comparison. Just, uh, so, like, if I go like this, and then like that, and then like that, then I am instantly fast. No, I'm not. No, no, no. I must have actually been close to instantly, or I must have been close to fast healing anyway. The bandit is recording a Wikipedia vowel pronunciation demonstration. <laughs> What's the IPA symbol for? Ah! <laughs> it, need, it needs some kind of a diacritic to mark that it's gravelly. Because uh, you're not pronouncing the word correctly if you don't use a gravelly. Ah! <laughs> Mm, thank you, Speckled. <laughs> Fairly certain that's not even the correct base letter, but <laughs> thank you anyway. Uh, maybe it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was, I, yeah, I was thinking of A, ah, but A ah is is Ash. Bandit King. Oh, this is um, many bandits whose tails got stuck together. This isn't, uh, this isn't your typical bandit. This is like a dozen bandits with their tails stuck together. That was a joke about rat kings! <laughs> but even as a bandit king, he still goes, ah! It looks quite for it, it looks quite formidable. I mean, it's, it's not not formidable. Bandit King equals Prince of Thieves, says Beckelad in chat. Hard to argue with that. If he kills my, uh, Elemental... Like, I think my Elemental is doing all the actual damage here. So even though I'm technically kind of close, I am going to... Uh... How much does a full flask do? 200? I don't think I need that much. I need more than that, though. There we go. That ought to help! You take down the bandit leader. He seems quite dead. You poke him with a stick. Yup. Dead. Perhaps you should return to Vrem for your reward. Did I learn Vrem's name or did I just invent Vrem's name? I think I might have just invented Vrem's name. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's great. So did I, did I take down all the other bandits or just the, well, she did just tell me to take down the uh, leader of the bandits who was apparently, you know, styled as king, which seems a bit, uh, a bit much for a bandit leader. Welcome back, Fire Elemental. At some point, I'll update you, upgrade you, whatever. Yet another building I can't enter. <laughs> Vroom. Her name was Vroom before the Great Vowel Shift, but it became Vrem. <laughs> My my impression of the Great Vowel Shift is, I don't know, the vowels just did weird shit. They just all kind of moved a bit. I don't know, just, just stuff happened.
The vowels all shifted to the next vowel in the alphabet, says Spicklet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that 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 seems likely. You could imagine that happening as some kind of like uh uh like that so people often claim that like certain accents or such are ogre, hmm, are like essentially invented. They're just supposed to be to uh 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 you know, like like this is the accent used by rich people so that poor people can't understand them. Uh, just rotating the vowels through the alphabet would be a, you know, this is just a, a an accent for literate people so that illiterates can't understand them kind of thing. <laughs> Please die before I die, Great Ogre. Looks kind of risky, but you might win. Just gonna, just gonna let this go up there. <laughs> Spot off. Hi, Metty. <laughs> the fact that you have to sit there and think about how to say everything just makes the cipher even better. <laughs> Who are you? I didn't talk to you before, did I? Well, hello! You are to guard, are you? I don't think so. Listen, I have hunted all of the elephants in this area, but I need more of their hides. Can you, can you maybe not hunt them to extinction? The, um, guards asked me to maintain the ball ants of them in the Quran. As fun fact, elephants don't have scrota. Difficult to maintain the ball ants of uh, elephants. You can help me by getting, I mean, helping with the balance by killing a few South Karana elephants. And as a bonus, bring me their hides. At least three should do. Great. I, I love destroying the natural ecosystem. I mean, the hell else am I doing, to be honest? Well, thank you for clearing that evil man out of my house. Now I can go get some much-needed rest. Here, take this for your troubles. She hands you a full mana flask. Not bad, actually. Wasn't doing me much good anyways. Too bad you can't substitute them with the bear hide you have. <laughs> I do seem to have a bear hide for no obvious reason. Well, an obvious reason. I brought it from the previous game. <laughs> Warn Hernia Miller and family. So, he said just follow the same road further east, which I assume means uh, uh, the road up here that I came from. Although, wait. No, yeah, the, the road just bent this way. So, in so far, like, if this was an interstate, I would be on I whatever east right now. This is east, in spite of clearly being southwest. Uh... Same road further east. On this same road further east. I mean, <laughs> on this north-south road further east. I'm assuming that, you know, that direction is north and that direction is south. Is there a compass rose anywhere? No. 
Well, that's that's a compass rose, kinda. And that suggests that I was correct. North is that way. So east is indeed this way, as I assumed it would be. Okay, let's follow this road further east, find another miller. Yeah, I could map completion this area, but I don't want to. So is this going to be the farm, or is this going to be random bullshit? Well, I haven't gone down this particular side path. It's random bullshit. I'm wondering if I can get it to be distracted by the, uh, fire elemental. The answer appears to be an emphatic no. Yeah, it's not prone to distraction, but it is prone to dying from the, uh, the freeze spell, so that's good enough for me. <laughs> Go more slowly. I want you to walk more slowly. Can you move more slowly, please? I'm afraid you're going too fast for me. This game is too fast paced. I'm gonna let myself heal up before zoning. Looking for more millers. That looks like a farm. Hey, do you mind if I just stomp on all your crops? Hope you don't, because that's what I'm doing. Welp, so much for your harvest this year. Hernia Miller greets you warmly. Uh, it was very kind of you to bring this uh, morning. Uh, we have no signs of null activities in our area. Uh, we have seen a few aviacs at a distance, but they did not threaten us in any way. We assumed they were just a hunting party. Like how people these days pay like 30 bucks for walking sims and other shit when they could have gotten EverQuest 2 for free. Well, you know, not legally. Uh, we will take appropriate measures to protect our families. Uh, please take this note to my brother Tiny. His farm lies south of here and he is much closer to the Aviax and Splitpaw. Uh, if what you say is true, his family is in the greatest danger. Is this your constipation voice? I was, I was attempting to use my hernia voice. Because <laughs> her name is Hernia Miller. She mills hernia. Okay, I think that uh, I'm going to... Uh, okay, we're, we're near the end of the stream. Time for, time for stupid experiments. My next stupid experiment is... Uh, in, uh, done incorrectly. <laughs> I have done my next stupid experiment incorrectly. <laughs> Let me try this again. <laughs> my next stupid experiment is stay in the game here because it was it was having sound issues. I think that it's it's have a, it's going slow. It's doing weirdness. Uh, but save the emulator state and refresh just like refresh the virtual box emulator and see if that's sufficient. Just a quick save state and back out, back out again. I really doubt it, but... Mm, hard to say whether anything happened there.
<laughs> she said to go to the next farm to the south, and I just pretty much went like, well, roads are for losers. <laughs> Let's just straight up just go south. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll see if there's a road leading south that might be a little bit uh, safer. I say on a road leading north. Well, this doesn't feel like it's going to lead south. But maybe it'll split off. Welcome to Central Crossroads, the economic center of the plains of Karana. <laughs> That's like, uh, uh, you put the word economic there to make it sound like it's important when all you actually mean is like all economic activity happens elsewhere. But technically, if you like averaged it out and found the middle location, that would be here. Nothing happens here, but it is technically the center. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is, this is, I, I think that this is real, like, actual slowness that is, uh, not nothing. Well, aren't we the stout one? Looks to me like you could use one of my specialties. You see, for years I've been the only person to combine the wonders of the Aviax and my special magic to create an item without equal, a magic bra. But to make it, I need you to collect the feathers of a very special one. The Avion! Give, so we've got furries and avians. Great. Give me, get me five of their feathers and I will make one for you. They dwell in South Karana, so hunt for them there. Beware, however, they are quite ornery and won't easily give up, and won't give up, the, and won't give them up easily. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the quest. Okay, slightly... Sl I'm, I'm gonna end the stream a little bit early. I don't want to get started on another actual quest. Uh, so I would rather just sort of stop at a reasonable stopping point, even if we're two minutes early. Let me uh, exit the emulator and then exit the emulator within the emulator. What an endless tragedy, Joshua. However will we live? It does seem like it might actually be Windows XP as opposed to uh, VirtualBox per se that's having that's doing whatever it's doing. So maybe I'll attempt to to get things running a little bit more smoothly next week, uh, or maybe I won't. You know, the most likely thing is I'll forget to do that and I won't. <laughs> that's also a distinct possibility. <laughs> well. We're, we're, we're neck deep in EverQuest 2 for, uh, Pocket PC now, so onwards and downwards, <laughs> more of that next week, time to go, uh, go from fighting the furries to the avians, <laughs> see you next week.